What is going on, guys? It is your boy TKD once you're back here on Plays and Swords. And of course, here this is the weekly Plays and Swords podcast, Safe Slot Podcast, the weekly podcast. I say podcast way too much, where uh we talk about <laughs> any and all things PlayStation. And with me, we got one familiar face and two others that we don't know yet. But first off here, my homie Tajay. Tajay, how you doing, my man? What's what is going on? Good. You Ready chilling? for the episode? Hopefully this one gets uploaded. Bro, <laughs> listen, for for those, I think we talked about it on the last episode of last week, I believe. But the one before that, we lost the full podcast. OBS screwed me. Um, and yeah. We lost yeah, the road so. to part two as well. Like my we have, first road to part we, two. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Speaking of, my co-host for road to part two, the Iraq Knight. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Look at that. You're uh, first time on Safe Slot Podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very excited. Love to see it. Love to see it. And up above me on my view, and the view that you're seeing on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube.com, so the source, we have Robot Rock, the homie. Hey, what's you, up? You can mainly find them on the Playstation Source Discord as well. They're very active in that Discord. Much appreciated to you as well. So uh, links to all these guys down below in the... Oh, wait, oh my bad. Let me, Tajay, do you have any uh, places you want people to link you, of course? You know what I'm saying? Uh, be able to uh, you find you at me out over on YouTube, uh, Tajay just hit 10k subs. That was pretty awesome. Oh, Twitter awesome. at Tajay moment, and uh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, awesome. I gotta check that out. A rack night. If any Almost people can find home. you besides Road to Part Two, where can they find you? Um, just uh, just the Discord. I don't do anything. <laughs> Lazy, uh, lazy folks. Well, but bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the show, I don't. Like, I don't want to create content. I just want to be a part. Right? Uh, <laughs> like I've been, I've been thinking about streaming, but it's just like, bro, just do it. Do dude, it. Like I'm, not, I'm not good at games. I'm not funny. I don't know what to do. Bro, <laughs> and I, literally, just personality is one thousand percent all it is. Yeah. What do you think? I haven't started. I think, <laughs> I think honestly, you should start streaming your like attempts to do uh, games done quick and stuff like that, and those speed runs. Yeah. I think that I think that'd be fun ass stream content. The Doom Eternal speedruns only oh, already. I just saw a three hour minutes. one. Oh, no, shit. it's a twenty seven minutes. Wow. A 27 for minute. an any percent? For an any percent it's twenty seven minutes. I was like, oh. okay. It's it, it's too late for me. <laughs> it's too late. Is that glitchless or with the glitches? Oh that's a, that's full of glitches. The one that's no glitches and hundred percent is three hours, I think. Yeah, yeah, those are, are pretty those nuts. Are. Mm-hmm. Crazy. But I, I may I may start doing that. But for the time being, you can just find me on Road to Part Two and on the uh, PlayStation Source Discord. I'm I complain about Deus Ex a lot and how I miss it. That's you love about to see it. it. You love to see it. You hate to see it. Dude. Oh wait, this what the hell am I talking about? No, you no, you hate to see it. <laughs> I mean, you you love to see you being active on the Discord, not hate the fact that there's no uh, Deus Ex. You know what I'm saying? You follow me? I'm still me? crying. You follow, I'm still you crying about it. <laughs> but Robot Rock, where? Not where. What have you been playing this week? You know what I'm saying? Playing new games. We got a lot of this, free time, I think. You know? Yeah, I still have school and stuff, so it's oh, not as bro. much playing as I'd like. But Black um I man. did finish Final Fantasy Seven. Yo. Which mm. was really good. Maybe one of the best games of the generation. I liked it a lot. Facts. And oh, I beat man. Resident Evil Three. Ooh, also okay. Good. That was cool. Okay. And okay. Yeah. yeah. That that's kind of it. I mean, I still poke around with Doom, Doom Eternal. Can I ask you but, one question uh, about RE3? Because uh, sure. it's yeah, me, but does the shotgun feel like a pea shooter? Yes. Yeah, I don't think any of the guns in that game feel very good. Yeah. Which um, is kind of concerning if they're going to remake Resident Evil 4. Like, oh, they want the, the, the guns should feel good. Yeah, the guns I feel, feel like, like, like light. They feel like paper weight. Yeah, and I feel like it was kind of okay for like RE2 with that because it wasn't like super focused on shooting but this game has a lot of action so i re3 like i really wanted to like it more than re2 but i i can't deny that re2 is leaps and bounds better in my opinion yeah i i agree with that like um the, i noticed something about the RE2 guns being really more weird. interesting game all around yeah no, it's, it's atmospheric too. it's atmospheric yeah, yeah. but um uh, was something i talked about on the discord a few weeks ago um the guns felt like pretty weak to me and it was like kind of i was playing on my first playthrough was on hardcore they're like hey this game's still pretty easy so i tried being i tried beating nemesis phase two with a knife <laughs> i remember you and, telling me that i remember yeah, you telling me that i it took 30 minutes and i managed to do it you're a second the phase two fight being the uh, one the, in the, big the church, arena yeah. or not okay. a church uh the uh the clock tower i see i see 
Yeah, so I had to, like, a lot of that was just waiting and dodging. Because on hardcore, it takes, like, two hits and you're dead. Yeah. One one from full health to danger, second one being death. So any mistakes, like, were, that was it. So I, did, I spent, like, 30 minutes doing it and it sucked. It definitely felt easier than RE2, right? Oh, or yeah. Yeah, I was just no. getting a lot of ammo. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I remember saying, like, on stream, because I streamed my whole playthrough of RE3 on JoyClix. Um, and, uh... I remember, like, saying on stream, like, man, like, I'm getting a lot of ammo for what seems like will be mostly wasted. Like, I don't, you know, and towards the second half of the game, when, like, you get to the hostel, especially, you know, oh, yeah. you start to use them a little bit more. Uh, and especially at the end of the hostel scene when you have to use pretty much all of it and you go on, there's more stuff like that. Uh, you know, I definitely see why they added more ammo in RE3. But I still, I think at the end of the day, like, I enjoyed RE3. I just, I think I'm more leaning towards, like, the RE2 like yeah. more survival horror as type of Resident Evil, and not so much the action one. So I'm very curious to see how, like, like I'm very curious to see like how I feel about RE4. Also, every every I don't like how every single encounter with Nemesis was scripted. Oh yeah, no, that's a good no. point. No. Yeah. I yeah. think every cutscene showed up. I thought it was cool, but yeah, he's not anywhere near to what Mr. X was yeah. in like, that game. No. Um, what was it in RE3? Like, I finished it. I finished it in Inferno. Like, the game is so fa fast. Like, I finished it like in an hour and a half on Nightmare, and then like an hour and forty minutes on Inferno. And it's like, yeah, is there is there another difficulty? Because this is kind of boring. I feel that. I feel that. Like, feel that. um, because it just it felt like kind of like I love Jill. I I love <laughs> Carlos. Like, I love the original RE3, but it's just like it felt like this one didn't have the love put into it that re2 had because even like something as simple like i played re2 to death like i used to i used to play that game all the time so even like in the ambient noise in the um rpd like a chandelier moving back and forth like there's no music no nothing just a chandelier like that that was atmospheric and that was like what really really got you tense even if you played the game like a dozen times is because it's it's almost never the same like mr x is never the same like the hardcore playthroughs of that game were a lot more tense than even inferno almost dead with jill because you can just dodge everything right right it's like oh you're low on health no ammo you can just scoot past the zombies wait for them to jump roll and then be on your way but but i don't think like um the fact that it's more action oriented means that it needs to have like less atmosphere though because honestly, I just finished Resident, Resident Evil 4 for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that game is super atmospheric despite being more action crazy action packed. Yeah. 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 So I, I, yeah, I wonder. Actually, when I was younger, I was scared of it. it was, that's yeah. Pretty scary. Oh, for I was scared of Metroid Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Taj, before we move on, can you up the gain a little bit on your mic? Is there way you could just yeah. up that a little bit? Yeah, actually, great. I might have to do it inside the actual. Uh, settings but, okay okay no. bet all right and then while while you get that going uh arachnite what have you yes. been playing my boy is that better you, you, yes yeah yes, wait, that's wait. better my bad i think yeah okay yeah okay that's 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 perfect thank you um okay. arachnite what the hell have you been playing bro uh final fantasy 7 like mm. like everybody else <laughs> okay yeah. is that all you've been playing uh, I've just been practicing Doom Eternal Ultra okay, Nightmare man. runs. All right, all right. Because I was gonna bounce off to Taj, and then we'll talk about Final Fantasy for a little bit. Yeah, you know, uh, I've been, yeah. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Ultra Nightmare on Doom, just trying to get through that. Like it, it's tough. Um, I, I've, I've tried it a few times. I've died a few times. Like, but right now I'm just doing another playthrough of Nightmare. I'm trying to see if I can get through that, like without dying at all just to mm. practice for ultra nightmare right right but playing a lot of the battle mode in that like trying to get better against other players um i don't know like i uh I, did you guys hear about how mick gordon might not be coming back for doom 3 i did hear that i didn't hear that i actually didn't, I didn't. like uh apparently like i was listening to the doom eternal soundtrack it's like hey this is good. It's definitely good, but oh, it's not wait. like Doom 2016 no. good. I did hear that. No, you're right. Okay, no, no, yeah. yeah. I did hear and, that, yeah. And I, I was listening to the official release that you got. Have y'all not heard? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I've never played a Doom game, but I just got to say are you that. Doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> no, 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 no. I played Doom Eternal. That was my first one. I, oh, I loved cool. it. My favorite awesome. game this year so far. 
And that main menu theme is some heat. It's hot. Yeah, no, all I, the music is hot. Yo, it's really I good. Honestly, music. I like. The, I didn't like the main menu theme. That's the best one. No, <laughs> in the entire game. Let's go. No, 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 no. That's the best song Super in the entire. Go- Super Gore Nest, Gladiator. And... Bro, all the other songs I can't care for, but that the dog. Main... Do yourself a favor and listen. I don't to listen Gladiator. to rock. I don't listen to yeah, rock. Yeah, I so. mean. Even, even, you know, me not, you know, I used to actually like rock a, a while ago, like back when I was like eight, 10 years old, whatever. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, even with me rock being nowhere near a genre that I usually listen to, I actually f- mess with a lot of the songs in Doom Eternal. Like, I actually like me, a good handful of them. Yeah. You know? As a person yeah. who does not like heavy metal rock or any of that, I can't stand it. I, I honestly think it's a trash genre personally for me, right. to, just to me. No, right, no dis- right, nobody. right. Yeah, that theme song at the beginning of the game is just it slaps, bro. I'm like, gonna I like honestly, it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to agree with Taj. That bro, shit do be slapping, bro. though. It sounds kind of hot, bro. For real, yeah, I'm like, I okay. feel like the, it's, it's not so much like like gu- loud guitar. Like, it has bass to it. That's it's hot, like, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But if you right. take away that music during the combat encounters, though, I feel like the game's like way worse. Oh no! Oh no! Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like the music fits, but I don't focus. Okay. Like I, I'm not sitting there listening to the soundtracks. It's just yeah. like you know I, mean? I think. Oh, I, I think agree. when I you agree. play Doom, though, like you kind of get in that trance like state with some of those counter encounters. Oh yes. yeah. And I feel yes. like that music helps, even if you, you don't like get into that rhythm. Which, I kind of yeah. kind of agree with. Music but, does like, it fit? It fits. Yeah, I, don't, it fits. I wouldn't I'm, listen to it. I'm not a heavy metal sure. guy, but like BFG Division from like, oh, Doom yeah. One uh, from Ooh. Doom 16 <laughs> is like yo. Like I'm not a metal guy either, but like Mick Gordon, like. He he might he's he's spilling some truth. I might have to listen to it, <laughs> but mm-hmm. but like BFG Division is so good. Mastermind is so good. Uh, Gladiator, like mo like just about all the tracks in both 2016 and Doom Eternal, along with his other projects in like Killer Instinct and Prey. Yeah. Um. Just God, like, Prey was fire. good. <laughs> you said you were mm. a Deus Ex fan before. I am. Right? I am. So yeah, are you super into Prey then as well and stuff? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm... Cool. Yeah. Like a sound like I didn't understand it until recently, like when I played Doom 2016 and when I played Final Fantasy 7 and Doom Eternal, just how much a soundtrack can make a game more inviting, for lack of a better phrase. Like um Final Fantasy 7 soundtrack is fire. Oh my is god. Fire. god. You know a game has no. a good soundtrack? That's what? Plague Tale Innocence. I just Re- played that. Oh, great. That was How a great that? segue. My point. That was a great segue. Yeah, 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 Please yeah. go off a, of the beat. Plague Tale Innocence. Okay. I just want to say for an indie game, it is very well made. I think it's very good. It's a game that focuses like major like majorly on stealth. And I like that. Cause I, I, most games I play nowadays is all about the action and shooting and stuff. But that game, it has like a slow pace to it that's paced perfectly but at the same time it ramps up really fast as well and there's also like encounters where you have to like strategically fight your way through but you have to be very strategic because you die in one hit so like i don't know it's good it's a good indie game it's like an eight hour experience nine maybe a nine you can oh, really? definitely try it out it's like that's 20 bucks right now i told you didn't know it was that short i told you didn't know it was that short that, that's it's like nine ten hours yeah like yeah that. yeah okay yeah I I'm, i've been meaning to check that out like I, I might. I it's good. So, Story's good too, it, it, and it starts fast. Like. Yeah, like, could you give me like a give us like a like a like a like a thesis statement? Synopsis, I'll, yeah. yeah, like a what what, what the, the story? story? Not like okay. any spoilers. I'm not but gonna like, what, without spoiling it. This yeah, is pretty yeah. much what the story is. Okay, right, okay. You're a sister, and you pretty much you're escorting your little brother away. F- you're, you're like on a manhunt, pretty much. Like there's this army dudes. They're just trying to kill you. It's like medieval time, okay. and they're trying to they're trying to wax you. Like they're right. trying to wax Ooh. you and take the brother. I'm not gonna tell you why, but you're on the run from right. like whole okay, army. Cool. Shit. Okay, it's cool. crazy. All it's right. intense. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see. I see. All right, I might. I might check it out. That is their ge- That is like an similar. I, I wouldn't say this is a spoiler, but pretty much like in like what kicks off into it, like they slaughter like you're in because you're a royal family. They slaughter everybody. You're like the last two alive. Oof. Dang. So like All yeah. Right. Okay. That right. for me is like on the same like shelf of like my backlog as uh oh my god uh Hellblade Senua Sacrifice is that the Senua Sacrifice? I honestly really heard of it. Is that the first Hellblade one? Hellblade in that game, I'll put them on the same tier. For, oh they really? Very much okay. Yes. Like those big budget or relatively big budget indie games, right? Or yeah, yeah, higher production yeah. values. Yeah, yeah. It's a great indie game. Those two are like on the same shelf for me. That someday I will get to for sure. So good to hear that you, you were like. You have them both. You have them both. 
I don't. I think I have Hellblade, and I just never got to it. I don't think I have Plague Tale. I, Bro, I don't think I have play, that play, one. Play Plague. Plague first, and then Helltale. Yes, play Plague. Helltale. Hellblade. Yeah. Hellblade. Yeah. Hellblade, yeah. <laughs> Hellblade, yeah. Hellblade, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check them out. But uh, at least on my neck of the woods, besides uh, Final Fantasy VII, we'll, we'll talk about that last. Uh, Lost Legacy. I beat that. Yeah, we saw that. That ended the first playthrough un- or no? No, no, that's my second playthrough. Okay. Yeah, second, okay. second. That beat. Uh, I mean, that finished the Uncharted uh, stream series on PlayStation time. Source. You know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. a it was a great time. I have yet to make that video about where I officially ranked the Uncharted's, excluding Golden Abyss, of course. Even though I would love to include Golden Abyss in this series, there's no way to stream it, unfortunately. Um, but Lost Legacy is up there. Definitely up there amongst really? amongst the uh, amongst the best uncharted for sure. Um, it, no, it's 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 really good. It's really like it's just straight up like what if Uncharted was you know a handful of hours. You know, it's only nine chapters and really technically only eight because the last wait. Let me try to think. The I think I forget if they count the epilogue and the prologue in the chapter counts. But there's like seven to nine chapters. It's really not that long. Uh, but it's it's a really, really cool condensed and chart that did a lot of interesting new things in terms of like having your companion AI do a lot of different things like tag different enemies for you, even take out different enemies for you and different things like that where they aren't just some like extra baggage anymore. Like they actually are useful in combat uh and and lore as well there's a lot of cool conversational things that you can do that are all optional by hitting uh triangle, triangle on them when it pops up there's just a lot of really really cool details that went into this game and it was like it just felt like a super like explorative game for night dog to develop while still being great at uncharted you know i thought it was I thought in four that they also took down enemies and uh, tagged them too. Like I remember in Madagascar, um, they I, would do that sometimes. You see, that's what I thought, but I don't know if it just happens more in Lost Legacy or what. But I don't, re- I don't remember it even as far as me just playing on Charlie Four, like yeah. two weeks ago. Like I don't remember it, but in Lost mm-hmm. Legacy, it was very apparent that like they were doing a lot of things in combat and like helping me out in like a lot of different ways, you know. So. I don't know if they just do it more in Lost Legacy or what, but it felt more apparent in Lost Legacy at least. But uh, yeah, great. I mean, the Chloe and Nadine dynamic is great. I hope they get another shot at another Uncharted in the future. I would love that. Obviously, I don't feel like it'd be made by Naughty Dog. I think it'd be someone else. Uh, my my first guess is Sony San Diego, that I other team. They need you know to let it go. Huh? They need to let that series go. I mean, that's why. Oh wait, like PlayStation and Sony. I don't just in general. Just I let don't. It you see, be. I would like that to a degree, but I don't think they would. Just because they stopped at four. Yeah, it's been decades. Yeah, like if 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 Lost Legacy never came out, I would have been like, okay, cool, bet. Like just end it. We're done with Uncharted. It's done, right? But the fact that we've gotten a Lost Legacy that doesn't feature Nathan Drake and Uncharted 4 being Nathan Drake's, I feel, definitive end to his story. Like, I don't ever want to see Nathan Drake ever again as much as I love that character, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. the fact that they even, like, greenlit this different Uncharted that didn't feature Nathan Drake, I feel like that's telling, like, where they wanted to take Uncharted as a brand, you know? Like, Because Uncharted yeah. is so massive for I them, think it needs a know? serious overhaul, though. Like, I think they I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the way... I'm not big. how I agree. I mean, maybe maybe make it like more open world, like double down no, on the Lost Legacy. Like, I'm saying? saying the game with them being very mature with like, let's say, for instance, The Last of Us. OK, right. That's a very mature game. It's very realistic and grounded. Uncharted is more like fantasy, even though Uncharted 4 was like more realistically driven in its story cinematically and everything with like how heartfelt it was and how it was closing out his story and whatnot. I feel like like the next Uncharted, I want it to be more of a serious game, if that makes sense. Like, I honestly sure. I kind of like like adventure style. Like I think because it, it, it just be it gets old. You know, I mean, it's the same. I just Uncharted. don't sure. know if uh, sorry, sorry yeah. go ahead. I mean, I just don't know if like that would be Uncharted anymore. Like I think that's why I like Uncharted. Like that like but, but lighthearted Uncharted, like summer movie esque type of thing. But if you yeah. watch Uncharted like the original Uncharted four like. Like a teaser trailer that Amy Hennig actually. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that that when it's when it's serious. At night, we have that conversation with Nathan. Hey, 
one last try. No, even, one even last before go. that. Yeah. No, that was no Druckmann's. Like even before that, like in 2013, five hours before PS4 actually launched, they they teased the Uncharted 4. It was just called Uncharted teaser, PS4 teaser. And it was like Sam Drake, and he was like mad as hell, like trying to pretty much like get back at Nathan Drake for leaving him. Like it was so crazy. It was you gotta oh, go watch shoot. it. Bro. I'm actually forgetting that. Damn, I actually forgot. Bro, you gotta really go back and watch it. It was like a that. way <laughs> different, more serious tone. Like you gotta check it out, bro. But I, after Amy Hennig left, no drug man switched the the story up on us. Yeah. I, I kinda dig the whole like the, when when you think of like bombastic uncharted moments, like I kinda dig um jumping onto an airplane from a jeep or like hanging yeah, off the side do of that. The I just think the story needs like to be more serious. Like I tried to forward did that, but I feel like even more than that. Like I, make I just don't want to get like a Logan esque kind of story for like Nate. Like Nate's earned a happy ending, I feel. I mean I, I just, again, I'll, I'll say it one more time. I hope we never see Nathan Drake again. Yeah. That yeah. is his end. That's a story. I, I don't mind seeing his daughter. Let him be happy. Spoiler alert. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even think his daughter, but the thing is, I don't think the daughter would get into that after seeing how the parents. I mean, she seemed pretty interested in like what was in that dresser, to be fair. You know, if she saying? gets into it, bro, Nathan Drake would have to be dragged back in. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. yeah like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be hard to disconnect. Those yes. two, you're right, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. The whole so. family, bro, that would be kind of sick though. At the same time, Elena, Elena, Nate, and they're too old. at that point, they're too old for that shit. You could like, <laughs> I mean, Sully's too old for that, but here we are. Well, yeah, but Sully waited. Oh, I don't want to see Nate like wait on the side. He's like, yeah, knock down that ladder for me. <laughs> Wait, what? Not like, uh, you know how, like, like in so, like, solely, it's like, oh, yeah, Nate, you climb it. You're younger than I am. You yeah. climb it and knock down a ladder or a box for me. I don't want to see Nate do that. See like, Nate, like, in the sidelines. Like, yeah. uh, like Nathan would just be Sam's age. No, so Sam's Sam, like five years older, right? No, at the at the end of Uncharted Four, like his like he, he oh they're already got older, him, yeah, 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 they're yeah. Older. Wait, yeah, I yeah. forgot. I didn't realize that they are yeah, way yeah. older already. Got a little salt, salt, and pepper. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, yo, my boy Nate looking, looking kind of. It went kind of spick and span, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, where did yeah. you say Robo? Oh, yeah. Sorry, oh, I, I don't know. I was gonna say, like, I feel like, um, I do like Uncharted more when it's more pulpy, and yeah. I feel like Uncharted 4 kind of loses his identity a little bit when it went a bit more serious. Uncharted in some 4 cases. didn't even feature a mystical creature in it, but yeah. I mean, it's so serious with like the closing of the story, it wouldn't fit. And, and like, to be honest, the mystical creatures in like Uncharted 1 and 2 kind of suck to play against, but I appreciate them a lot. I'm brutal. Those things are rough. Yeah, so I I don't know. I'm. Uncharted threes are cool because it's like he was yeah. hallucinating. Uncharted three was like, oh that was man. cool. Uncharted yeah. three was phenomenal. I, honestly, I will say bro, I really thought Sully got waxed back when I first played I... it. <laughs> oh, bro, I know. Sully gets bro. waxed once a game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, lost. Oh yeah, his... he did. Wait, the first game we thought he got waxed. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. second game he dipped out. Third game, he got waxed. <laughs> Second game was like, I, right, you know, like I'm ahead. Oh, like I'm saying yeah. that shit. I feel but like that, for years before four came out, everyone was tweeting at Druckmann like, "Don't kill Sully, please, and don't kill Drake." <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, people thought, thought, people thought Nathan serious. was gonna die. I think. Yeah, yeah. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. But hey, the thing about I'm making a big. Okay, never mind. Let's no, not. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to. I don't want to shift the story to me. So let's. No, just I mean, I'm making a really big video about like Naughty Dog's marketing right now, and like I'm digging deep into like the marketing on Charted Four, and it was really, 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 really good. But I noticed that they showed off way too much. They do that a lot. Then I feel like like you haven't went part two. You could, you could definitely see the difference and shift of like influence they've gotten from like lessons that they're learning from Uncharted Four's production, like uh, marketing, because like, bro. Like all said, of uncharted 4's uh like pieces? all yes was pretty much thrown out the window from yeah. marketing it, it feels like it has there's so many trailers and gameplays for that game that were oh. out before the game came out it's ridiculous that that truck segment honestly i felt like kind of got ruined for me by seeing that e3 demo. i wish you never like, saw okay, that yeah the entire game. that's yeah. the biggest set piece of the entire that was, I wish that's you never still saw my that. favorite still my favorite Dude, it's the yeah. best but i just felt like I had seen that it. Was I was the going to the motion section of the game. That was the biggest yeah. set piece of the entire game. I agree. Yeah, Mad- Madagascar was a uh, like King's. Mad- that entire Madagascar level got released as a as a gameplay demo as well. And you can yeah. watch it. 
Yeah. But like, don't like the fans always like you know ask them he, to he, race. And I even found info. a tweet where where um Anthony Newman was all like, all right, if you guys already know you're buying the game, I wouldn't advise watching this. But here it is. Like he was even telling people, don't watch it. Like just yeah, because bro, they were releasing so much stuff. It's crazy. Like I'm like, digging real deep into all that. Like really big video. It's crazy. You it, guys should check it out when it's ready. Like. Like, like what I said a second ago is like, it feels like more and more companies are doing that. Like, just remember Avengers Endgame, like how they released the final fight as a trailer and like the snap as a trailer in the trailer. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's like, and those, are, you, are you kidding me? They don't even put like scenes from the movies in the trailers, right? Don't they just yeah. use a bunch of deleted scenes? Yeah. Like, I, I feel know, like they, um, the final fight, like they use like Tony and Pepper in the rescue suit, like fighting the Thanos horde in the in the trailer it's like oh come see the biggest movie in the world it's been like a week it's like i saw it but like imagine if i didn't right right yeah I saw that. yeah it's like I that's why like see even though i hate like i really hate the last of part two's marketing right now i've i'm kind of starting to appreciate it a little bit because we haven't seen what do you hate I, about it i've and been loving I hate, it i hate how quiet they they there's times where they should speak where they <laughs> I, don't speak i i personally have loved not seeing a lot because I think but the most the mark, bro, the communication has been so poor. I feel like even them not showing stuff, just the communication in general with the game has been pretty bad, especially well, when they do like they say one thing, but they don't follow up with it. It's kind of like I can see why people get angry. Like I'm not angry. Me personally, like, I'm like, right, like, right, yeah. right. I can right, see right. why the general person like, I don't, I don't know if you've seen the community as of right now, but it's pretty toxic. Oh, I, yeah. I think it might be a little bit different just because like, I mean, I don't know if I'm that different. I don't know. I mean, you could have just told me, hey, part two is coming out. And I don't need anything to sell me in that game. Anything. Yeah, like, you don't need I anything. know I'm going to get it. I know it. Yeah. You know, like, but there's I don't people need to who want you to just see a glimpse. That's fair. Things, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Just a yeah, crumb, just a, please. Yeah, like, just market the game a little bit. Like, I don't know. Right. I feel right. like Death Stranding was kind of the poster child for this, though, because, like, those trailers were whack, and then um, Kojima didn't really want to show anything for it. And then yeah. I feel like the fans and well, I mean, really, after playing the entire game, what was there to show for a trailer? Like, what could you show for? It's hard. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, I know that game was just like really hard to to market. But right. like, they ended up showing too much of it though beforehand. Still with that the, TGS I heard the story demo. trailer. I heard the story trailer is a big spoiler. Yeah, game. yeah. yeah. I didn't I, watch the story trailer because I just did not care enough to to, to look at anything. I, I haven't away watched from the story trailer to Ghost of yeah. Tsushima yet. Oh, that one's good. That one's good. Okay, but one one game that I feel like for me is infamous and like they put out way too much content for this game before it even came out was um yeah. was Spider Man. Oh, I thought you were talking about Second Son. No, bad. no, oh, I think Spider Man PS4, PS4 was yeah. over marketed to hell. Like they showed oh. so much of that game, so much, so I much. Keep it to yeah, the I remember Spider Man. We got to think about it. It was kind of at the same time smart because. Spider-Man is like a franchise that goes across everyone who's not even gamer. So that probably still yeah. Cool. But then, like, why, why would you even show too much of that anyway? Like, bro, I mean, like stories. Though. They're so, trying to because at the yeah. end of the day, it's Spider-Man. They're just trying to over, overly haul the marketing on it because they know but, everybody's going to want to get it. It's but like, when you assume the that, more like, you okay, show, the better because but yeah, like, people like hold on, but like, when do you assume that? All right, like it's Spider-Man. Everyone has seen anything Spider-Man to the to the majority, right? So like, why would what? you even need to put like some story stuff? I mean, like, there's like like across the shows, across the movies, across comics, across, like Spider-Man as a brand is like it's it's huge. It's I feel to, like but you got remember Spider-Man never had it, it went like what how many bad spider-man games do we have until that we had yeah. that going? okay but we've had some good ones so yeah, exactly too. we've had web of shadows shattered well, yeah. dimensions yeah the, time. like but none of those reviewed well that was reviewed well that was within the spider-man fandom of games For the, Dimensions, i gamer, think shadow dimensions and web of shadows are regarded as well even on metacritic wise i think i don't know but but yeah, yeah, I, yeah I remember we came off the amazing spider-man the Amazing spider-man 2 which are both trash okay and the first game's okay the second game's not good well, I think All there's I'm an saying, expectation with like licensed games too, right? Activision like, destroyed the Spider-Man franchise. I don't. It was care. Look, I mean, what I'm saying is that like Spider-Man PS4, right? If you're telling me that you didn't know the plot in the first ten minutes of that game, putting together all that you've seen trailer-wise, and you didn't know the first plot within ten minutes when that certain person gets on the phone and calls <laughs> you, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, you you know what I'm saying? Like. Because well, I mean, that that story was, was easily put together in like I thought the first ten minutes. Negative. I don't think I knew. No, I personally don't think really? I knew. Really? Wait, Doctor Ock? I know. You you you, you know about Doctor Ock? 
As I, I play, he's talking about Doc Ock. Yeah. As I play Spider Man, I didn't realize what was going on. Wow, oh, Dan. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Honestly, because as soon as he got on the phone, I'm like, "Oh, this is this is where it's going." Because there was that one E3 trailer so where at the end, where it's like you, and it's like you know, oh, who is that? Who is that. that enemy? I forgot about that. Dog, you know, like, and then they yeah. were talking about the, and then they were talking about the Sinister Six the the whole time leading up to the game's release, and they and they've only showed okay, five enemies, right? Terrible. They've showed like, five I've enemies, and then that one homie gets on the phone. And it's like, oh, okay, bet. Not, yeah, now, okay, this great. Gonna sound bad, but I've only watched Spider-Man movies, so like I never knew who the Sinister Six was. Dog, wow. you are missing. Oh, out. okay. I never knew then, who okay, it was then. until the game, so I really like. It was like, what? Oh. Like, what is this? Like, it was like brand new to me. Everything. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I, 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 was, like, I was like, I was like, like so, like even like the whole, like the only thing that I guessed was that he was gonna become like the Octo thing, just because like Spider, because of Spider-Man Two. You know what I mean? The best Spider-Man movie. Okay. Yeah, but like well, everything, yeah. everything else, like I didn't see any of that coming. Well, I, then, I didn't know who any of those characters. I was wish that I was Utah. Time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, it was like an, was it was an experience for me. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, so cool. I guess I was you. Yeah, I mean, so I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was. I'm I on was the you opposite then. end. There. I was. I'm now on the opposite end of that spectrum. Like I could talk about Spider-Man all day. Right. Oh, like, right. See, I'm like a very casual. I only watch the movies, so I don't know all that. I've read everything Spider-Man. I have a Spider-Man cookie jar here in my room. I bought the collector's edition. You got a Spider-Man picture on your account yeah uh, yeah, yeah i got a spider-man yeah. picture on my Bro, i like i like now that it, like it's kind of cool though I'm, I'm just, i feel like i'm talking to like a i don't know i like i like that you got <laughs> it. it's cool it's dope. but it's, it's dope. it's stuff like that with uh with spider-man like i, Here, I didn't i didn't i tried to keep it as like dark as like i tried to keep myself in the dark as possible huh. but like i i broke so quick because like i love spider-man like the second that game got available to pre-order, I bought a collector's edition. Did I'm, you open up that statue before playing yeah. the game? Then, uh, I I knew the I knew Doc like okay. I knew Ock was gonna be there since six. Yeah, I I opened the statue. It's like oh, Ock's there. Like okay, you know what's crazy? I've never bought a collector's, which is why I'm so excited for my Ellie edition. That's it's my first one. That's hot. Uh, sometimes like sometimes they're worth it. Sometimes they're not. That's why I always just get it for things that I'm like very passionate about. Yeah. Like I got one. I didn't get the LA edition. I just got the collector's edition for Last of Us because that backpack scares me because I break everything. If I use it, it's gonna rip. So I'm just not I'm gonna, not gonna use mine. I want so, it. No way. I, I want it. No way. Um, Actually, should I? I like, would. Do people use that stuff? Do people use their their clothing? Yeah, for yeah. I yeah. I got a uh, Mirror's Edge backpack from GameStop as a pre-order bonus, and I used it for like ten years. I I could see like using it for like a, for like a convention purpose, but like not like. Yeah, yeah, like if I was driver. going to like an E3 or like yeah, a PS Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. rolling up. Flexed I'm like, that, yo, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? I got that thing on me. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. Like, hold yo, up. Check the bag. Yeah, yeah I got the Doom Eternal yeah, collector. Yo, but yo, helmet is fire. The last huh. game I want to get to, because I don't think we've even talked about it yet. Final Fantasy VII Remake. All right. If we go. If y'all will allow me, I will I will just say my piece. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And then whoever wants to talk, y'all can go ahead. All right. So before you go, what does oh, the trophy list for that look like? Um, uh, I know. Seventy hours. Yeah, seventy yeah, hours. Because I know the plat. You, you have to do it twice. Yeah. Yeah, to plat you have to do it twice. But Final Fantasy VII, right? So this, so here I am, right? Let's let's go back to the beginning of the year, right? Christian right. has talked me into playing my first Pokemon game, right? And I've just because I never played a Pokemon game. And the reason why is because I was never really into turn-based combat. You know what I'm saying? Like turn back, like turn-based, which is never really my thing. You know, was really into it. But hey, I went through Pokemon Sword, and I found that oh man, actually, I now understand the appeal of turn-based combat. And that is not necessarily like what you do in turn-based combat. It's the decisions that you make in turn-based combat. You know what I'm saying? Like in terms of like okay, what works best with this enemy type? Ah da da. You know what I'm saying? Like up upgrading abilities, stuff like that, getting new abilities, like. I, I then understood what turn-based combat meant to make it fun, right? I finally got the appeal, right? Right. Going into Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's a mix of, like, live combat and turn-based combat. So you use live combat to get the means to be able to choose your ability in turn-based combat, you know? Um, I believe... I'm trying to remember... Oh, it's called, like, tactical mode, technically, in Final Fantasy yeah. VII, right? And, a couple, and, like, coupling that strategy of me liking turn-based combat as a Pokemon sword versus the hella fun live action combat in the game coupled with the insane story that I'm loving the 
I love the world of this game. I love the characters of this game. I love the, the this. Oh my god, the soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. Yo, mm -hmm. like okay, when yeah. so last night, uh, I was able to visit Aerith's house for the first time, mm. and dude, that theme that plays when you're walking down like through the garden and you're going, bro, phenomenal. How's the game graphically? Amazing, amazing. But then there are some parts that look like I, ass. I, I, I want to see like the the bright the brighter sections, like the more colorful sections of the game. Because when I played the demos, of like course, Walmart, okay, Market. Taj, yeah. go to my Twitter and go to the screenshot I posted last night. I'm doing it right now. It's called Wall Market. That I some think, is, yeah, yeah. That that so far I think has been the most like breathtaking, if I will, like place that I've been to so far. Right. Um, and for those in the comments, I just made it to Wall Market right now. Um, but. I think I'm going to end my sentiment right here. I'm loving the game. I'm I I literally can't get enough of it. I'm I find myself playing it in short bursts because I don't want it to end because yeah. I know that the second part of the remake is going to take a while to get here, right? But I am adoring this game, and honestly, I could see a future where I come out beating this game, maybe platinuming this game, hmm. and it being my favorite game of all time. Oh, FF seven. I dude. Yo, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, but I think also a big piece of it is that uh, in December, I got really heavily into My Hero Academia. That's in my first yeah, anime, yeah. and so having you know, like it just <laughs> like the past like six months in terms of like what I've understood about turn based combat. Plenty of Pokemon Sword, what I've loved about anime with My Hero Academia, and it, all the ending with Final Fantasy VII Remake, I really think this has a... I'm not saying it right now, but I think it might have a shot. Like, I can see a future where it becomes my favorite game of all time. Someone else talk. Yeah. Uh, Robo, what are your thoughts on it since you finished it? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I totally think, honestly, like, I, I won't lie, my expectations for it before it came out was... uh. I was kind of uh, cautious about it because I thought it's such a wanted thing. You know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, people have wanted that for years. And yeah. Square recently hasn't, you know, exactly made the best games like they used to. But yeah, no, that thing completely blew me away. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite game of all time, but I, I think it's honestly up there. And it, I, it's definitely like the best remake I've ever seen in a way that I think is probably going to be influential to the industry. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! Like yeah. I think, yeah, I think you sure. see, you'll see a lot of companies try and do stuff like this. I agree. So. But remakes have been a lot more popular lately. They have, yeah. Like, um, it's already in my top five. Like, oh, damn. It. Um, I, I, I just got into the like one of the ending parts. Like, I just got through a big, big chapter last night, chapter twelve. I'm not going to talk about any details, but it's a big one. Um. I have like I whenever like this this is how what happens to me like I'll I like I'll play games I'll be into them and like once they're done they're done and then I'm done with them but like there every so often there's a game or a show or a movie or something that just really really grabs my attention and I become almost like obsessed with it for a period of time like last year I had Persona the year before that was Steins Gate which is a remarkable anime if you guys want to go watch that but like doom was a few months ago like i'm super into doom now and final fantasy 7 has really really opened the door for my interest in at least cloud story and have you, story. Have you played the original sorry no. i, I i've that. not i've this is my first not. ever final yeah, fantasy because i'm not a huge turn-based guy either like sure and the like the locked camera tank control kind of deal isn't my cup of tea I wish it was. I'm trying to get more into it, but worst case scenario, I might just watch a playthrough of it. But I just think starting I might, here at the remake. Yeah, I, I think I might play it. I think you I, should. I think yeah. I think after this remake, when I'm done with it, I think I'll 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 have to play the like. I, I, yeah, I have to see the rest of the story. You know, like oh, yeah. I think I, I have to. Yeah, yeah. I I only know like the big big spoiler from the original, which it's like a 20 year old game. I, I don't like know. I'm to talk about. Yeah, and like I mean, I hope you don't because I don't know what I've done. 
to be blessed with this. But like, I think since the remake came out and now like it's in new fans get introduced, it's best not to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no. What, but like, what I might say is that like I don't know it. Like going yeah. into oh. going into remake, I know next to nothing. The only thing I knew was that the main character's name is Cloud Strife, and he has a Buster Sword, and that's his Buster Sword. You don't know what happens to Aerith? No, I know Ooh. absolutely nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. I know at all. nothing. That's Literally that's nothing. That's Literally that's nothing. Crazy like that. That's a vague statement. That's a vague statement. <laughs> that's all the war around. That's Dude, a vague statement. Li- listen, I promise you. Be- right before I started this remake, the only things I've ever known about Five Fantasy Seven was that yeah. again, you play JRPG. as Cloud Strife. It, it's a JRPG. It was on PS One, and uh, he ha- and he has a Buster Sword, and it's turn-based combat. That okay. is literally it. I knew well, nothing else. Robo and I know about the remake or the the original. Yeah, right. Um, I, I I watched a lot of it when I was younger, but like this first time I ever got my hands on it, I have fallen in love with Aerith. I am in love. With oh, Aerith. okay. Let's talk about this. Yeah, you're going too um, far down this path. I, think. I I I no. It's not like a. It's not like a oh waifu body pillow. Wow. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, yeah. But, I like as a as a character, <laughs> a theme. What it's just like. <laughs> It's just like she's such a like so she is just a very well written character. Like they all are. Like I love I love all of them. Like Barrett, Cloud, Tifa, Jesse, Aerith, all of them. It's just a remarkable cast of characters. And it's been a while since I've played a game where it's like, hey, I like all of these characters. Yeah. Like, usually it's like, hey, like the protag's cool. Well, like, Cloud's a dick. But like if you do some of the side quests, like Cloud's a dick. Yo some of- Cloud's kind of a yeah. Yeah. Probably Wait, like, I think I know which one you're talking about—the the yeah. graveyard one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, dude, he's not a dick. He's actually a legend for that because you know what? That guy was ready to carry on and make everyone do his shit for him, but now Cloud made him go and do a job himself, and that old man will live his life. He yeah, was a dick in that moment, man. but it's actually, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but like for like for for the amount of gill, <laughs> for the amount like, of gill, <laughs> honestly. Just, Oh. The side quests are the weakest part of that game, right? Oh, like, absolutely. Oh, I mean, yeah. I did, I did all of them, but like they do suck. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I've been doing all of them too, but like I don't hate them, but I do no, find myself like I really want to just get to like taking down, story. you know, these yeah. macro reactors, etc. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But I mean, I the combat was just fun enough that I did them anyways too. But, yeah, but some of them is you collect cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. That is yeah, such, that was, see, before this game crazy. came out, I wasn't sure if this was going to be like a JRPG. I thought it was going to be like a cinematic Uncharted thing from Square. Right. But then when you get that side quest, that's like, yeah, find these cats. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Okay. The, 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 the thing that really is a JRPG is like the uh, uh, like the grunts. Oh like, uh, yeah. It's yeah. just like whenever very anime. anime, it's like very. It's anime. just like, it's very it's very anime. it's funny. Like it's like oh yeah, like I'm super immersed in the world. Bro, Tifa and Aerith, the way they animate, they're like uh, cloud. <laughs> just oh, like the, all the their hands going everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Like, like, um, it's it, it it sucks me out of like the kind of immersion. It's like oh yeah, like this is a super like everything about the world is immersive. The writing is immersive. Everything's immersive, and then something will grunt. But I think and then I it's think... like then you remember Cloud's hair. And it's like okay, this is JRPG. It it gets that tone right though in a way that I, I feel like it didn't bother me like the whole thing just like no I just let it wash over me and I was like oh yeah this is real it, it, it's I just agree. a little funny it is funny yeah it's yeah. hilarious yeah like, I yeah agree. like some of that wall market stuff right <laughs> so so good oh uh, you're Bro. gonna have fun with the wall market oh, yeah. yeah I was in there for like I think maybe ten minutes last night I just like peeked around I saw my boy Johnny there not oh, yeah. my boy but him yeah like yeah, not really my boy but, but like he was there yeah. Um, but I mean, Taj, so hearing what we have taught, so like, have you ever played the JRPG or uh, are you like, like me before I played the GMAC where like, I just wasn't in a turn base, wasn't in anything like that. I never really played a turn base game. Like, I mean, other than South Park, no, never have, played turn base. Ooh, I have you, South Park was have you amazing. played the demo for this game? Have you yes. played the, okay. You I wasn't did. that great at it. You weren't that great at it? Like, you like, didn't like it that much or like? Like I, I thought it was cool. I just was not. Good. Difficult. Oh, yeah, oh, the I combat thought... has a warning curve. The combat has a yeah. Warning. I'd say that. I'd say, uh, I'd say that. I was so I honestly was super sure of that demo too. But um, 
once I got the game, much better. You get it. Yeah, you get much better. It was my second time. I'm like, oh, okay, like. I, I I get this now. I yeah. feel like I've been staring it, it like me. a deer in the headlights just because I've just been listening to this conversation. I have nothing to say. Right. <laughs> like, cause I, but yeah, but you know. yeah, that's um, I feel that. But I mean, how hey, much I, is it? Sixty still? I heard somebody was like it's fifty dollars right now. I was like, that's what about sure? to say. Retail like, copies of it are getting expensive. I hear. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like scalpers. Don't, but yeah. If you're cool with digital, then yeah, it's sixty bucks. Oh, I mean, it's just a wait. It's not sixty retail. I I heard like resellers like scalpers have got it and they aren't making too many copies of it. There's no retail copies of FF7. I believe it's out of stock in lots of places. Yeah, it's already it's been out for like what like almost almost eleven uh, days, 11. almost two weeks. Oh, yeah. it's because it can't ship out more because the whole yeah, yeah it's yeah, already yeah, sold three point five million copies. Yeah, it's a lot. No, no, that's that. See, that's misleading because a lot that's of people shipped. think that that's shipped. Yeah, yeah, that's shipped. shipped. That's not sold. Digital. Yeah, it's yeah. shipped in digital. Yeah, yeah, shipped and digitally, but it's just like still like. Even even if you do seventy five percent of it, like with everything going on on a global scale, like I I get why there are limited physical quantities. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Like I just got it digitally. I preloaded it. Yeah, same. I got it digitally. Yeah, um, but this I is where I want to talk about the Last of Us though, because like never mind. Oh yeah, that we talked about that in Red Part Two a little bit, like yeah. with uh, refunds. I mean, Taj, what I would honestly recommend is you know if you have ample time. Right, you know what I'm saying, and if you're like really interested in Five Eight Seven, I would really recommend going through the demo a second time, right? And if that grabs you, I think you should consider at least trying this out, trying this game out. But I if mean, it doesn't I, grab I, you, I, I say screw it. it. Like it's not. I mean, I'm not like it's not like I'm too worried about. It. Like, I can get it. I just don't know if I if I want to play it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It, like it's like it, it's because like me, I know when I play a game, I'm gonna want to get the platinum. This is what I do. I don't want to be stuck. I, I get a trophy for it. I'm like, I don't like it. And then now I'm like forcing myself to go through it and get the platinum, especially when we said 70 hours. Yeah, it's you I definitely guess maybe wait twice. for a sale or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd say, yeah, wait for a sale, but yeah, I don't know. But I'm know. I'm loving the game. That's what it is. But if you don't want to pay a 5 cent remake, we can go into our first topic of the episode. Whoa, well, we're just not getting to the first topic. Hell yeah, my boy. It's 46 minutes in. Let's get it. <laughs> Bro, we were really talking about our games. We were playing this entire time. We were. We really we're were. Gonna get another we really were. Like we Bro, gonna... I forgot we were. Yeah. Bro, Loki, I thought like we were just having a conversation. Bro, I, I know. Was... We really. We really... got to make this quick. We're... Mm-hmm. Oh, there's there's only a few topics today. Like, it's like, like oh. not that much, guys. Yeah. So, starting off here, if you if you don't want to pay Final Fantasy Remake or don't want to play any of, any, of, any, of, any, of, any, of, any of the other games that came out recently, uh, you can double down on the PlayStation Initiative Play at Home Initiative, where you can uh, you can get a copy of uh, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection, as well as Journey. J- j- just want to put it out there, you know what I'm saying, for you guys to take advantage of. Uh, I think Journey is a must play, and I feel Never like oh my god, Journey is a must play for me. It is it is two and a half to, it is two and a half to three hours long, very very short. What's game. the trophy list looking like? I don't uh, honestly, I'm not fully aware of the trophy list. I don't know. Is there an achievement hunter? A, yeah, I, get I, pla- I got like 67 platinums right now. So. I know What's there's your a trophy level? 25. Damn. Damn. What a G. I know. I think there's a platinum. I'm pretty certain there's a platinum. But I really don't know off the top of my head. So I apologize for that. Okay. But you can cop that as well as, of course, Uncharted Energy Collection. Uh, that includes Uncharted remasters from Blue Point uh, 1, 2, and 3. Great games. Mm-hmm. You know, we talk time about them. It's in charge. PlayStation months plays. Yeah, I absolutely, hope they patch absolutely. that to support the PS4 Pro at some point. Oh, yeah. With the 4K oh, patch. Yeah. No. I don't think they did. Oh, Wait, they, they didn't. Oh, yeah. If, no. it hasn't, if, it's, if it hasn't been done this long, it's not happening. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. And Nathan Drake uh, collection's been on since like 2016. It still looks it's great, great though. If we're oh, it doesn't look great. Like, it looks great. It dropped 2015. It, it dropped like late phenomenal. 2015. Just, I feel like, yeah. you know, this is Uncharted. You can make it 4K. Right. <laughs> I mean, bro. <laughs> you can make it 4K. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think it still looks yeah. great. At one point, they're busy doing other things. Yeah. Yeah, Blue they point, are. Doing that Dark Souls, yeah. you know, remake and stuff like that. But uh, shout out to that. Just want to throw it out there. In case you guys are looking for free games on the low, low, uh, in the cheap, cheap, and the free, free, you can go get those two games. Free, free, uh, 90, 90, 90. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Ooh, yo, I like that sweater, my boy. Taj, why don't you show us the sweater, bro? Oh. It's got the. I saw a sacred. Mmm. Money. Damn. The sacred symbols, that PS1 with no analog sticks. You got to love it. Mmm. You got to love it. 
Next, I really wasn't trying to do that. I was just readjusting for real. I, was I just saw it. Just trying to just flex. Saw it, I, just, I, 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 I had to flex real quick. But starting, I mean, next up here, of course, we had a big Bloomberg report talking up us talking to us about PS Five. Uh, now, again, I will link the full article down below in the description to, if you want to read the whole thing. I'm gonna give you guys some the bullet points of what essentially what was said. So first off here, they said that PS5 uh, will be very hard to get. They're going to be in short supply. They say they're going to make five to six I million. I will fight for this console, just letting you know. Yeah, I mean, same, same. They are going to produce what they told their uh, investors, five to six million units by March 2021. And that's it. So that's in between launch day and March, 20, March, 20, March 2021, there's going to be five to six million units produced. They are going to. They are also looking at lowering the price of PS4 and PS4 Pro among the PS5 release. That way, they can stimulate uh, the subscriptions of PS Plus and PS Now to make up for the limited projections that they'll be doing with PS5, since they're making less consoles because, of course, the COVID virus, as well as one of the one of the, the price bigger. Points, right? Yeah, yeah. That was more of what they were saying was that the parts in the PS5 are costing a lot because there are a lot of different different other components that uh, are being made throughout the year, including smartphones and other consoles and other, you know, just tech that are making the price of those components run up. So of demand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so they're looking like the PS5. Uh, also, going to the price, there are some devs that quoted to Bloomberg that the PS5 might be 499 to Five hundred and four ninety nine. So about five hundred to five fifty is a price range. What a lot of devs are quoting. Jim Ryan wants a worldwide release with a limited supply, which I will get to why that's kind of crazy. As well as uh, they what there was a PS five reveal set for May twenty twenty, but that may be postponed at the time of this recording. Right now, we're not sure yet, but that was that's just a word right now and also a they, worldwide release of wait so like, that's five to six million worldwide exactly Bro, that's gonna be you know what man. let's get that right now why that is absolutely crazy i feel like is because the ps4 first launched in north america right yes and they did and it did seven million they did seven right? million in two quarters yeah they did seven million in two quarters which that is around wait, i'm trying to think so so like i think by the two quarters verbiage, I think that's around the summer. Around when they hit the summer of 2014, I think is when they hit seven million PS4 sold, right? So, and that is, and I don't have the dates on te- so like on how, hand, bro. Is just the pre-orders going up online, but I'm gonna have to have this no, stuff like ready. I mean, I'll, I'll, I've been saying on the channel for a long time. I'll say it right now again, when they announce pre-orders, I will be that homie that will be up in my bed, laptop open. Yeah, midnight whenever it is because i gotta get this piece out day one but i feel like this is about to be like a shoe release bro i don't know if you ever had oh, yeah, the, yeah. Huh? i don't know if you ever tried to buy the next pair of yeezys or hyped up jordans but there's bots and turrets bro you you a might not sony lottery it. thing with bro sunglasses. i mean i mean look here's <laughs> oh, the they lottered you in yeah. lottered you t- oh my god i'm gonna try and get one straight from sony right but all i'm saying is that if i can't get one it, like if I can get one, one from the playstation website if I can't get one straight from PlayStation and straight from Sony or whatever, I'll pay, quite frankly, whatever the scalpers want. <laughs> like, I got to get a PS5, what? all right? No, like, so are, you gonna 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 are you going to try to get it from, like, Sony's website? Or are you going to try to get it from, like, Amazon? Like, what, by, what is gonna be by, by Sony, I meant, like, whatever's the main place for the pre-orders is where oh, I'm going to go. Oh, any retail. You're trying to get a re- So you're, it's, it's retail resale. So you get it retail, and if you don't get a retail, you get a resale. That's what it's Probably like. Probably I'll go straight to PlayStation.com and go to their store and, and try to get it straight from them and straight from there. You know what I'm saying? If I go to Amazon. Get I'll a retail, then you're gonna you're really gonna pay resale for it. I don't it's care. Gonna be high. It's gonna be. I'll do high. it. I'll it's do it. In the greens, you know that, right? I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. You know what I'm no, it's not. Yeah. It's not worth it, bro. It's hey, bro, worth it. Me, like bro my channel is PlayStation, so I have to. <laughs> like, what you mean? You know, bro, I have, yeah, no, I'm gonna do it. We need to go it. fund me for this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Listen, I saving your nuggets right now. I have. Listen, I have. I'm putting. I'm putting seven hundred to decide. I have a credit card. That has oh. a very very high credit limit, that is there chilling for this PS5. I'm not saying I got it because of the PS5. I'm saying that I've had for a while. I just don't use credit cards that much anymore. But I have that thing over there. That's subtle flex. 
that kid you not, bro. That this that one? thing will I get saw... summoned, like a five by seven remake summon ability. That thing will get. That will be like if <laughs> <know> it. <laughs> yeah, that will be if for coming in. I'm, I'm kid. You, I kid you not. <laughs> this month's YouTube's payout is literally going straight towards like like all of it like i'm not spending a cent of it it's going straight to that ps5 yeah man i'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. i want to be i same. want every launch game in the console. yeah same same bro. i'm so. gonna wait i'm gonna wait i feel that i feel that i don't like, i've never had a console day one bro i'm 20 years old now see, i'm a grown boy i could do this I, the ps4 was my I, first playstation on day one same, and i just sat same. there with a copy of knack and killzone shadowfall and i felt terrible I like got Knack. Yeah, I got the PS4 yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't like Knack and I don't like Killzone Shadowfall. Yeah, I didn't like yeah, that. I, mean, so I had a launch PS4 and couldn't. A, get, but. Yeah, I mean, there's still multi platform games, though. So Resogun, you still play that. And that's fine. Resogun was bomb. Come on, guys. See, Resogun Resogun unfortunately Resogun? disappointed me. Like, I love what? Super Stardust. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I love Geometry Wars. Trash. Come on. Y'all didn't enjoy the. I didn't get the. I didn't get the PS4 until 2015 summer. So. Yeah, I got a day one. Those I first couple years of PS4 well. were kind of shifty. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. Did yeah, you go back to like, PS3? Yeah. Did you play your PS3 more? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I had a friend who had a PS4. We used to always play Destiny on my like we he, he would always go oh. PS3 to play Destiny with me for years Hell until yeah. I got a PS4. And he had a PS4. And he he never played his PS4. He just always stayed on PS3 to play Destiny with me. It was damn. If they have another Spider-Man theme, uh. Like PS5, if you they have like another console. Do it. Oh, they're, uh, they're yeah, do it. Uh, and I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. I don't care who I need to push down. <laughs> it's Black Friday. Exactly. Somebody's exactly. getting. Somebody's Wait, getting so I want to ask you a question, bro. So when you got your PS4, right, and you said yeah. you're playing your PS3 more, what were you playing on the PS3? That no, I honestly, I'm a, I have a PC. So uh, PS4, I just buy for exclusives, and then I played a lot of multi-platform games on the PC. Thank you, thank you. So, I mean, sorry, I, I I'm was... a trophy. Hunter. I got a PC as well, but I'm a trophy hunter, so yeah. I don't want oh, PC games. Steve's I, got achievements, but it's not the. It's same, not a trophy bro. though, dude. That's trophies. Trophies. No, no, I get not achievements. Yeah, it's, I get it's, it's not a trophy. The way you gotta solve this is you just don't care about achievements yeah. and trophies. Yeah. Because like trophy, like the platinum, like it's something about you. You you did you do everything to get that platinum trophy. And you you like I got this many platinums. Xbox doesn't do that, and PC does not do that. You just get a score of achievements. It's not uh, the same. I almost rebought Doom Eternal for Steam because uh, the collector's edition came with the Bethesda .net uh, code instead of a Steam code. It's like wow, Bethesda like Bethesda's launcher is kind of trash. So um, I might just rebuy a Steam version. So I put up my code to sell on eBay. And somebody's like, I'll give you $50 for the deluxe edition. It's like, never mind. And I just, just look like slog through the Bethesda launcher. But it's just like, like I definitely understand what you're saying. It's like, like where you're getting these achievements and what you're doing with them really makes the difference on whether definitely. or not you enjoy it. Like, I, I get the I get the thrill of uh, I just the like, but I have, the thing is, I have a trophy score. And I have I play on like PlayStation. I was on PlayStation. I have this score. If I play, if I literally walk away and play all my multi plats on PC, I'm leaving all that behind. It's a good point. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that. Yeah, it's so that. It's it's that. You're dedicated yeah. at this point. Yeah, you're yeah, dedicated. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, same. I really don't care about trophies or achievements. Uh, like, it depends it on the just, game for me. It's fun to do it. Sometimes, you, sometimes, yeah, I appreciate the incentive. But when like, you go for all your the trophies in the game, you essentially yeah. end up doing a hundred percent of the content in said game. So it's like a it's a good way to get me to get all my money out of what I'm playing. Sure. And I like I, it. it's fun. Yeah. I it's usually also just like a flex, low key. Like, yeah, it is a flex. Yeah. I usually just do like an hour to dollar ratio. So if I spend sixty dollars on a game, I should get sixty hours of gameplay out of it to make it like That's usually not how it works though. Yeah. I don't know. I spent forty Most bucks on RE three and played it for like hours, six dude. hours. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I pre-ordered like, the yeah. You spent forty? How? I spent sixty. I spent. PC dude. deals are available sometimes. G2A. I spent. I spent. Yeah, 60, bro. I spent sixty. I spent sixty. Man, I spent sixty. Yeah, I spent 60. <laughs> See, it's the price. It's yeah, the really difference it so far. That's why I need to go over here and get the platinum for that. I need to get my money's worth. I saved twenty bucks, but I lost my trophies. So I already got the like. I already got all the achievements in RE three. It's I've only played. You got all of them. Yeah. Damn. I I finished on a. Yeah, I I, I finished like I finished the game three times in one night. I think the last game I 100 percent was Spider Man. Oh, I, Spider Man's was really too easy. easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, got, I am thinking I about Final three. Fantasy Seven. I got I got Spider Man's Spider Man. I'm really thinking about Platinum being Five by Seven too. I'm Likewise. I'm thinking about. I'm not I'm not 100 percent on it, but I'm definitely. It's, He's it's capping. He didn't. Definitely he ain't got no platinum. He capping. I mean, I don't. You're right. I'm just. I'm just not you don't got no platinums. You never played a no. Game? I have. Yeah, one. I have a. I have. I have a. Uh, My name is Mayo. 
No. Uh, yeah. I got my name is Mail Easy to Get or something? Yeah, it's like Tales from the Borderlands. 40 minutes, I think. Tales from the Borderlands. Tales from the Borderlands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't I don't personally go for Platinums, you know? I like or... I I like trophies. <laughs> I just don't, like, you know, care about Platinums. Yeah, the like silent Flex, yeah, level 25. Yeah. Uh, but they're fun but, to get, bro. My first platinum I was bet, Uncharted yeah, Drake's Fortune. All the way, I think I got it back in what year? Twenty twelve, I think is when I tamed it. Twenty eleven. Infamous and Infamous Two were my first platinums. Like I, I played. I have a PS3. I need to buy those. Uh, you can play them on PS Now. Like they are. Yeah, I'm not, bro. PS Now is a bad experience. I just can't. Yeah, I have a, a, have a pretty decent. With I PS have now. a good. Download. Like, I have like an eighty good. download. It is still trash. Uh yeah, like duh, I would pay so much money for a um an infamous like remaster. I would die. I would die, bro. I, bro. It, it has to get like a modern warfare type of remaster, like a full, like completely overall. Not like a remake to but like where they literally take like the shot assets, by shot. Break it down and go back up. You know what I'm saying? To where it's the yeah. same as that game, they just redo all the graphics, the audio the, the audio, all that. Yeah. Like, I, mean, like yeah. I would pay top dollar. Sell for, me. Suck a PS5. Punch slept on. I'm sorry, right. bro. Sucker Punch Fire. Sucker Punch is fire. On. Sucker Punch hasn't made a game since la- like first since like 2014. Well, first yeah. light technically. First light technically yeah. for being technical, but yeah, yeah. It sounded like, like something was in between first light and Ghost of Tsushima that got canceled before that, it got rebooted. That's that's kind of what it, I don't know. Well, there was like a remaster esque thing for Infamous One and Two on the PS3. I remember hearing about like an Infamous remaster with a Spider Man demo. But that never happens. Like that's not. Crazy. Yeah, that was no like way. a weird Amazon. I playing prototype. I, you, back in the day, I used to always get Infamous and Prototype mixed up. They, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, they're both very similar. Yeah. They like both have a lot of similar things. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. They're both kind of similar. Wait, aren't, they, aren't they kind of the same? No, not no. the same. They're sim. I'll say similar. I've never seen things. I never sandbox superhero in. games. Yeah, basically. sandbox. Yeah. I'll take Infamous over Prototype any day. Oh, that's on God. Absolutely. Oh, played. that's you, on God. They, they remastered the prototypes. I could try those. I they sleep, did. honestly, compared to Infamous. I, I sleep. sleep. Honestly, who developed Prototype? Who? I forgot. I forgot. That was uh, well, Radical Entertainment. They did a uh, Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't think Hulk. they exist anymore. I don't think they exist there. Another. Yeah, who did the remaster? An, uh, uh, I don't know. Another. I didn't, know was, I, didn't know I didn't know there was a remaster. Go on. Yeah, they have remasters on the PSN store for PS4 right now. Wow, I sleep. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I sleep. <laughs> I sleep until I didn't bought them. I knew about them for a long time now. So another remaster coming out. It's Crisis. Anyone play Crisis? Crisis. Hell remaster. yeah! Uh-oh. Got officially Dude, those crisis. crisis. Woo! You know what I'm crisis saying? Crisis is hype. The what's the, so hype about it? The Crisis uh, that first back. game had like uh, we were just talking about sandbox, but basically it was just. A really great open map with a bunch of like crazy physics interactions and just some really good feeling guns and enemy AI, and it just felt great to play. So, so what? Isn't there three of those games already? So there what, are three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three. Yeah. There's three. three. But but what? But what? 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 Crisis was when it first came out, right? It really mm-hmm. became a meme because of how hard it was to run on PC. Yeah, it's like, like you you had to have at that point like the literally top of the line shit, right? And so um like the the meme was like, oh, but can it run Crisis though? Like you would like be talking about like your rig and oh yeah, I got you know a GTX this and the third, I got this much RAM out that whatever, and then someone would be like, all right, well, can it run Crisis though? Like as like a joke meme, like like that's what Crisis was back in the day. You know, it was like this very intensive game that was good. But like a super like intensive like graphical game with a bunch of physics as well like what robot said like it's you know that was the meme. So I'm of sure I could run it today though. Right? Oh I no, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That, like, but like in its heyday was where that meme came because it was so uh, intensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I just make it in my rig. That affected sales, correct? No, well, actually, it was used a lot for benchmarks and like a lot of people bought it just for benchmarks. Yeah. yeah. Like it was it like sold a lot because people would would buy it just to benchmark it, you know. And like see and like use that as kind of like a as like a stat to how quote unquote like good your PC was and like how good your rig was, you know how well I, it I ran just crisis. upgraded my rig like uh, Doom Eternal's like highest graphic setting like what are we talking yeah. what specs you can tell me what oh, GPU <laughs> just let me know just let me know <laughs> we can talk I'll send you a message about it all right all right but like I know I just got like a twenty eighty super like. I'm, <laughs> 
graphics card. Like, I got a really good deal for that because, like, nice. yo, Doom Eternal is coming out. Like, I'm going to push out all the Tomb Raider on my computer. Sure. Uh, and just, like, Would uh, a RTX 2070, could I run that? I'm oh, sure yeah. I could. Run oh, what, yeah. Doom or Crisis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doom, oh. Yeah, Doom, yeah, sure. yeah. Doom yeah. runs beautifully. Yeah, yeah they optimize yeah, sure. that game beautifully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, sure. um... I'm like the reason I upgraded it. I upgraded it a few years ago for Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, <laughs> if uh, if you know anything about me, uh, okay. You understand one question about PC my... gaming, not to cut you off. Just one question. No, you're good. I, I, I'm crying right now. I'm crying about it. I have, right now. I have a PC. It's like I've only really played like a couple games on it. For instance, like H1Z1, um, the Halo Halo Master Chief Collection. Yeah, so yeah, doing yeah. That. Like I played those, but it's like I've never like just cost four a little bit like i've never like truly like just dunked into like a brand new current game on the pc like but the, is it just frame rates that's better or is it like i know resolution frame rates are better but is it actually graphically better or is it yes. just resolution and then frame rate uh, uh textures are better graphics are usually better it's because your computer is a more optimized console like uh, consoles are just computers with specified parts that developers need to work around in order to make their games as optimized as possible mm -hmm. with your computer you can upgrade those parts opposed to like the only difference between my computer and my playstation is my computer has different parts and a different operating system so yeah. like if like the playstation like has um has a like the parts that are in there you can't change them developers right. need to work around that but with a computer, the developers can say, hey, we this is like th these are the graphics that we use on our dev computers. And we're going to put these as a graphic option for your computer to see if you can play them. So and if you have a computer. Like, so like, for instance, like so with next gen hypothetically, because I, I can't really imagine graphically how it changed. Do you think we will have another big jump graphically by like no. actual graphic wise when it no. comes to the PS5 versus PS4. No, honestly, I kind of, I that agree. Mark's learning so. stuff about the SSD. It is kind of crazy. No, where so I I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not just talking about like loading. Process no, that's not just about loading. That is not. Yeah, no, I'm talking about like no. raw graphic power. Do you think we're going to have another jump? Like PS3, I don't, PS4? I personally oh. don't think so. I, but, but, I think I think it'll be bigger than PS3 to PS4. Honestly, no, no, yes. graphically, no. I'm yeah, I think I think like, so. Like, everybody's talking about frames and resolution now. Nah. No, yeah, I think I want to see, see, see a graphical jump. I feel me? honestly, that first few years of PS4, I feel like was kind of disappointing from Ps regen. It looked I like I don't know. Bro, I, was, I was on PS3. Where everybody's on PS4. No, it looked good, but I feel like see Infamous Second Son. I was like, bro, this looks next level. Like I was oh, like, okay, Infamous now... Second Son did look great, but then like I mean, the the Last of Us on PS3 looked fantastic, right? And then they remastered it on PS4, and I feel like it still looked on the level of a lot of PS4 games at that time, That's... and still ran great. Oh, why? Right. So, why I hate now people today says it holds up, but really they're just looking at the the pre-rendered cutscenes because the, the game... visuals of Last of Us. No, like people say it holds up to today's standards, but really it's just the pre-rendered cutscenes. The actual game running in real time does not look that great at all. Oh, I think it looks pretty good in 4K, but it definitely I, doesn't look yeah, as good as yeah. now. I mean, no, yeah. Not, not, not compared to today. I yeah, won't, not compared to today at all. Yeah, I won't say it's anywhere near like what they would do today, but I will say like it's playable. And yeah, I would say it's above playable. playable. Like, look, the like it looks cut good. I would say hold up, but yeah, outside the actual the gameplay. Scenes, yeah, I feel that. No, like, on, but I don't know. I kind of disagree. I feel like it looks really good. I mean, <laughs> I think the frame rate, bro, the frame rate is just nice. Look at the last was part two, and look at that game. They both run. Look at them both running real time. And you think that holds up? Be honest. I think it does, but it's a stylistically different thing, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think was too. Looks better. The last I can see both. You're ready to rev up. Today's standard. They say this game holds up to anything today. Yeah. That game running in real time next to The Last of Us Part 2 in real time does not hold up. Don't I, sleep. But what does that what does I mean, holding up mean though? Like, I, yeah, I, like, I mean I, that's I, a great question. Some people say it graphically looks just as good. Like some people literally oh, no, no. I don't holding think that, up doesn't mean just as good. That, 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 like, that's not even the definition people, though. But, but I'm saying some people praise the last of so much, they say it looks just as good. As different games today. I mean, so I best, hold, hold, hold. some people like it's like one of the best looking games to date. Somebody but was, I would call on Twitter. I would call what you're saying different from holding up. I think that's an entirely different definition. I think holding okay. up is like it's can you can you yeah, play it okay. today? Yeah, yeah, it holds up. Right? Yeah, but I'm saying, um, yeah, that holds up. Some people yeah. say it literally can like comparison. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no fuck no. Wrong. Okay, fuck thank no. you. People be saying that. No, I think it's a crazy dog. Something that we being big fans of the game. Like you can be a big fan of the game, but you don't gotta like lie for, it, for yeah. it you know like the game but is like, really broken there last was a very broken game i'll be real i play it so much i play that game like once a week 
twice a week, three times a week, bro. Damn. This is the full story. I can sit down and play it in five hours, okay? I've streamed it a thousand billion times. My boy TKD knows this. That I do. game I do. is broken, okay? Like, it has yeah. a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches. I, like, it's a great game. It's just very broken. Like, the, the average player won't probably see them, but if you play that game every day, like like Anthony Caliber or something, yo, he still uploads glitches on the game today. There's a lot. I, like um i believe i read something recently about the polygons in batman's model for arkham knight it is more than the amount of polygons used to model arkham asylum that's insane that's arkham insane. knight it looks really good today arkham yeah, knight that's is a, phenomenal that's, arkham that's, knight a, looks that's a one generation jump dude yeah, arkham like, knight looks insane yeah no I, yeah I we're not going to talk about the PC optimization. Well, I mean, absolutely. Not. I heard it was trash. Uh, PC. Yeah, very, that, very that, trash. That, yeah, that, it was famous. That, that, oh, yeah. Run correctly or something? Famously trash oh, on PC. Famous there's actually a pretty good patch for it that came out recently for a fan, if anyone cares about it. But yeah, yeah no. it was trash at launch for sure. I yeah, know, like, since it's gotten better, but yeah, like, at yeah. launch, that, well, that was talking of the town. Yeah, but, yeah. But yes, I, no. I, I definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it runs. It runs fine. Now it runs on PC. Yeah. Yeah, it's really well optimized now. I definitely think though, like I don't know, once you see like Horizon Zero Dawn two or whatever, I think it'll probably destroy the PS4. Uh, I'm I, assuming I am, I'm copying. Oh, okay, we got We also got remember the first, the first, the, the first few titles on PS5. They're gonna have that jump, but it won't be as big as if when we're like two, three years into the cycle. It'll be, it's gonna be it'll minimal. be, it'll be just like PS4, uh, where like we're like a Kills lot. Of- Shadowfall holds up. I feel like. Yeah, in terms of like visually, it looks pretty good still. Yeah, but yeah, Infamous Second Son holds up. Yeah, yeah. You could, graphically, if you look at it though, like if you really look at it, you could tell like okay, we got way better stuff now. But I still think it looks good. Yeah. Infamous, like Infamous I know Second is... Son. When Infamous Second Son came out, I kid you not, that was the best looking game on the PS4. I, oh, I definitely, the yeah, lighting definitely. is awesome, and the definitely. the yeah. wet pavements. Oh, the the effects are the effects are great, like yeah. for smoke and all that. Yeah, but, especially for smoke. Yeah, only the really story cool. was not good. Very true. Well, Crisis Remastered what? also has ray tracing. You want to put out there? Enhanced visuals. Bro, I forgot we were even talking about Crisis. I know. I know. I know. This yeah, we, awesome. we, How long we has this been going on? We're just talking, bro. We're, it's like an hour and a half we're, almost. Hour we're in hour 11 and we're on topic bro. three. <laughs> we might as well just, just, just. I was going to go to the gym tonight. I guess I'm going to. Shoot. Wait, I thought you went before. What? Oh, man. All right. Well, to keep it in the high gear, Sony's is experimenting with a really weird robot. Uh, thing that will oh. talk to you while you're playing games. Uh, no, it's a you. patent. It's probably never gonna happen. But it's just really funny to funny to say they had like really weird schematics. It looks like a fucking cloud with like a hands and feet and two eyes and shit. It looks weird. And apparently it's supposed to like talk to you while you play games and like encourage you if you're stuck on a level or like help you complete different levels if you have if you have questions. It's I don't need that. It's bro. weird. I feel like no I'd one needs it. that. It's just a really weird patent. I just want to bring up. I feel but, like I punt. Like it's like imagine you... like being angry at something and it's just like this robot's like you can do it. It's just Break like, punch that shit. <laughs> Break my, it. My cho- Have y'all seen cho- that shadow. Sony pattern that's like the guy like putting hands up in the air going McDonald's to the no. TV? That's a real Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I guess they like wanted a pattern like a way that you could skip ads if you just yelled McDonald's or the name of the ad company to your TV. Oh, but God, it never came horrible. to fruition. Put your hands up like they're gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up, don't shoot McDonald's. <laughs> Next up here, super massive, of course, until Dawn developers. They're now doing the Dark Pictures anthology. Uh, they had Man of Madon oh, yeah. episode one. Yeah. They have a new trailer for their second episode of that anthology series. I forgot what it's called, but uh, <laughs> that's coming out in the summer. Did you but guys play Man of Madon? I did. I didn't. I didn't love I did. it. I didn't. Love I didn't it. love it. I didn't love it. I, you that know, heartbeat mini game, like killed two of my characters because like just it wasn't responsive yeah i don't know i mean uh it just wasn't the until dawn even until dawn wasn't that hot about you know just to be frank about it i don't know but they have talked about how they are having discussions about psi's dual sense control and i want to bring that because i really uh you know hope that we have a lot more of these developers that lean towards like that horror genre that do a lot with like the haptic feedback of the triggers of the dual shock Sorry, Dual Sense for the PS5. I'm gonna ne- I'm gonna keep calling it Dual Shock Five till I die. Dual Shock is cooler than Dual Sense. Oh it's hell just a yeah! Cooler it's just a cooler oh, 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 name. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But uh, you know, if you want to throw it out there that like you know, I think one of the biggest implementations that we could see, the like haptic stuff. Well, not biggest, but like one of the really cool ones is like, uh, you know, using horror games and like and like how they'll use that, especially when when we were talking about like the heart rate sensor, 
that the PS that PlayStation patented for their controllers that didn't come on DualSense, but just just you know, cool stuff right there. Oh. You know? And that audio sensor would be good for the VR or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, right. that yeah. that three D audio horror yeah. stuff. Yeah, mm, that's gonna be good for horror as well. Yep, I agree. A heartbeat sensor would be really cool if you had to, if you had to like keep yourself calm. Like yeah, really, like, yeah. It. Because like I know, for example, um, my girlfriend like she she gets really nervous at like like even just making choices. Like we've been playing Detroit. Oh, together. good game. Phenomenal. That is a there good go. game to play with people. That is a good yeah. game. Oh, like, so I've, good. I've played it. Like, I've played yeah. it to death, and she's never even seen anything about it. So <laughs> I'm just I'm just sitting there while she makes all the choices. And um, she gets so stressed, even though I'm the one doing the quick time events, and, like, I'm the one doing all that. And, uh, like, she gets, like, like, her heart is racing. So it would be funny for her to play a game, like, Until Dawn. For sure. Because, for like, sure. especially if there's, like, a heartbeat, like, thing in the controller. Like, oh, you got to keep your heartbeat low. But that's also, like, th- there's a lot of, like, um, physiological reasons your heart, re- heart rate could be higher than it is. It's like, oh, my character's dead because I naturally just have a high heart rate. It's like, that sucks. But I don't know. I feel like it would be cool. It like, probably would uh, take, like, a measure of your your average beats per minute resting heart rate is that what's called i think right you're resting or is that when you're sleeping it'll be your uh, average well, beat per minute well yeah, there, yeah you have different heartbeats whenever you're sleeping sitting. yeah and, so like whenever you're playing um, the game it, it'll just be like your average beat per yeah, minute. Yeah. yeah yeah i don't know that's just there are different there are differences in heartbeats isn't like, it uh like athletes are 60 average is like 70 and then yes. like i have like no seven yeah. athlete like Back when I, I used, used to be like, in the sixties, but mine is up now. For ever since I got out of sports, bro, my heart rate is up. It's I like used to do I used 70s. to do like cross country, like track. Uh, my heartbeat used to be like in the low fifties. Yeah, you got endurance. That's why you had endurance, unless you still have it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had endurance. Yeah, you had damn, endurance, bro. Shit. All I was talking about playing Doom. I was like, yeah, no, Shoot. you don't run. I was a sprinter, bro. Like I played football and stuff. So yeah. all that, yeah. Not, now it's in like the 60s, like, but still. And Bro, I can't imagine what mine is probably at right now. In, in high school for the last, no, actually, I think for since sophomore year of high school. So, like, it was sophomore to senior year. I was doing five miles a day for six days oh, yeah. out of the week. Yeah. Yeah. I would consistently run five miles a day, six days out of the week. And then hike probably on Sunday. Your heart rate was yeah. low. Yeah, I bet. I never, I never even knew that you had a lower heart rate if you were that active, but. I digress. But I heard some slander about this next topic. All right. I don't appreciate oh. it. All right. Some of y'all out here wilding, but the glory of Assassin's Creed in the PS5 reveals coming up. You know, we had uh, someone ask the homie Shinobi602 on Twitter uh, any news about uh, a new Assassin's Creed game? Please need to know. Sh- Shinobi just said almost there. Shinobi is on like the, the echelon of like Twitter. Uh, uh, you know, people that I put like Wario sixty four in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Z huge X in there. Like these insiders that just that 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 just know stuff. You know, they just yeah. know stuff. And like when they say it, it's like okay, I, I I believe it if you say it specifically. But Assassin's Creed, PS five, allegedly it's coming. I can't wait for it. I loved Origins. I was obsessed with Odyssey. You know. Anybody else like Assassin's Creed here? No? I adored Origins, and I fell off Odyssey. I hate to see it. Hate Bro, see it. I hit exactly 70 beats. I'm actually proud of that. <laughs> this man, man doesn't care about Assassin's Creed so much, bro. He's like, man, I'm, uh, dude, I, he's I, like, man, I, like, I'm watching 70 beats rate. in that one minute, bro. Let's get it. <laughs> I am comfy. I am exhausted. I am. I sleep. You really? For bro, real? Yeah. Assassin's Creed is lit. Uh, I, I thought you were clowning on Assassin's Creed before this, Todd. It's lit. I just said it's lit. I thought that you were saying it was trash before the show, right? What? No, that Whoa, was him. I'm that was Spider-Man guy. He said you sleep. Oh, I, I, I love so, Assassin's Creed. Also, I, you Assassin, know what? But all, I will say Assassin's Creed got ruined a bit when Nolan North left as Desmond. Like, Desmond died. I, I they, mean, that yeah. ruined yeah, it for I me, mean, man. I thought, but I thought I still that like was, it. like, dumb as hell. You, you, you don't like the no. present day story of the Assassin's Creed? No. Ooh, wow. That was what made Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed, bro. Yeah, then maybe it wasn't good to begin with. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Taj, I would like to issue the formal apology. I really thought you was. I really <laughs> thought I was about Creed to. I'm a Creed fan. I buy every Assassin's Creed game. 
Taj. I, I, was, I do kind of like Taj, the Desmond thing. I think it lost bad, it when bro. they. I like when they killed him off, I was ah, that was stupid. It didn't even happen. I don't know why it happened. Yeah, and then Assassin's Creed Four, the present day was trash, man. The present. I day enjoyed the present day because it was like some weird like parody of Ubisoft corporate culture. But no, then, like, I, I, I mean, like, bought like one. Origins brought is bringing a pretty. Yeah. Good... yeah. Origins and uh in uh in Odyssey have a pretty good present day going on. Like I I bought a one two and Brotherhood, um. Great game. Yeah, no, I uh, yeah, those were coasters for a while. You don't like them? I hated them. Those were hype, bro. Especially, bro. Like, I, I just, I, I think this is like your worst mission. gaming take, honestly. Like, I'm gonna yeah, say probably. this is a hot gaming take. This is your worst gaming priest. take you have, dog. Yeah, because for the Xio trash. collection, the Xio trilogy is like, bro. I I don't like trailer missions. Like, the, it just. The, it, the combat didn't feel nice. The uh, climbing didn't feel very nice. I remember how excited I was for Unity. I, I went to PS4 so bad so I could play that. I was like, bro, I got to get a PS4. I got to like, play Unity. If this is the hill I die on, then I'm proud of it. But it's just like, I sleep on Assassin's Creed. Like, you probably I sleep remember... on every Ubisoft game. Hope we never wake up. Uh, the, the Division is <laughs> Division's uh, hot. South Park is lit. I think. Uh, I think Far Cry is lit. I Far, think Far, Cry is, Far Cry 1 and 2 are good. Far Cry 3 is the best one. Stop. I mean, three, oh, no, three, I'm okay. with Arc Knight on this one. Far Cry 1 and 2. That three, was Crisis. 3, 4, after, everything after 3. Have I played Far Cry Instincts? Oh, oh Primal. No. Primal? No, Far uh, Cry Instincts. The fuck is Yeah, what was that on? Far Cry Instincts. That was an Xbox, original Xbox. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, no. That was, was that a port of the first one or like a different thing? That was like a, P bro, I think Far Cry Instincts was like a spinoff of the first game. I okay. sleep on fire. He had like Actually, powers no. and stuff. It was crazy, bro. I, I, it's a hard sleep. I'd rather play Assassin's Creed over Far Cry. Jesus Far Cry. Christ. Bro, I never played Blood Dragon. They need to remaster that. Blood Dragon, I hear, was lit. I played the demo of Blood Dragon. That shit was I did hype. Too. It was that lit. shit was. Bang. Honestly, like now that you mention others in Division and Siege, like Ubisoft's kind of like trash. <laughs> okay, you bro, can. Ubisoft's yeah. Fire, <laughs> Stop this. Ubisoft's Ubisoft's Ubisoft is the best. Ubisoft the best third party of this generation. And I, and I will okay. die on that hill, quite frankly. I, bro, I will die on that hill. the same. All their games are yes, so they pump out the most. They pump <laughs> Thank out the you, most Robo. content. I wouldn't say they're the best third party. They I don't know. For real? I can play. Because like, you know what? Honestly, I don't think about third it. Okay. Is Rockstar, if you probably think about not. It. Probably not third. They only put GTA out two games this out... gen, though. One. Or like one game, I guess, one. really. Yeah. One. yeah Hold up. Too. One. Yeah, one. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. We said that of this generation. Of this generation, Ubisoft is up there for third party, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I meant I meant of this gen, not 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 like all time. But I think. Probably my biggest like Ubisoft, I feel like unpopular opinion is that I think Watch Dogs Two is a phenomenal game. I feel and like yeah, third party. I'll say oh, I forgot about Watch Dogs. Bro, third party was so much better in last gen than it is. Definitely, yeah, dude. Definitely, EA definitely. would put out so many good games, and this so gen they put out like shit. Battlefield and Star Wars, and that's trilogy. it. Trilogy, the Mass Effect trilogy. Bro, we need a yeah. skate. We need a skate. Absolutely. Dog, I, I, like, I feel like in today's like I don't know. I don't know if people like skateboarding games anymore. Dude, I think there is. I feel I like the next one will be big. Slime. Like whoever I does it. Really though? Only indies yeah. are doing skate. There's no AAA skate games coming out. There's only indies. Like, rumors of Tony Hawk. Yeah, there's a new rumor. Yeah, there's a new, yeah, there's a yeah, new yeah, rumor. Yeah, Tony Hawk, Hawk is like arcadey. I want like yeah, and it's good. It's so good. Yeah. I, 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 I love. I love it. I love okay. it, dude. I need like a Tony Hawk underground. No, American Underground Three. No, I know a remake we need. First Skater Three. No, we need a Tony Hawk Underground. Thug, Yo. Tony Hawk Underground, Yo, thug. Thug a full so a full remake of that with the story with Eric, well, where he still is like Dude, the Eric's tape. Bar- no, that, I thought that was American Wasteland. No, the very okay. okay we need a remake of American Wasteland. No, 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 no. no. You're right. You're right. Tony Hawk thug. Underground That's was thug. one. Eric That's took thug. your Eric yeah, Sparrow. Thug. Yeah, Eric. He took your move. You did this super crazy move over the hotel. Yeah, yeah no, and, no. And it was over a helicopter. Yeah, over helicopter. You're gonna become a pro. And the thing is, you create the move, which is cool. So you're, you're yeah, gonna become a pro. Yeah, he steals it. He steals the tape and put, edits himself into it, and then he takes your uh, you're still becoming yeah. a pro, and then he you also get like, bro, he gets you. It, it was some crazy shit. There's an end, there's a there's a second ending of the game where where it's you, like, you elbow you his just feet. Him, you just yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the tape back. He, instead of like battling for the tape, he's like, yeah. uh, he's, like, he's like one last skater around the park or something like that. You just like, yeah, just ah. clock him. Yeah. yeah. Dog, Bro, is this. So like, these guys don't know. They, these guys don't know what they do. <laughs> nah, look here. Guys, look I didn't play American for me. I, I'm a pro skater, one, two, and three guy. No, oh, thug, go play thug. Go I'm play even worse. Thug's all right. I, who needs no. jackass in, sk- in skateboarding? No, we're not talking about thug two. We're talking about thug one. Thug. Okay, 
Doug One is definitely better than Scott, Doug Two for me. I agree. Bro, American, American Wasteland is good too. Uh, I think I think I Pro Skater Three is the peak of the series. Dude, Thug. Let me open I, up I, Steam. They need to you remember Gamefly? Steam. You remember Gamefly? Like, yeah, I remember Gamefly. I would Gamefly. rent. I would rent Thug every time I had to return it. Bro, Bro just buy it. The only. Yeah, well, I, w- I was like eight. <laughs> I know. I know. The My only. Like, I'm not gonna buy you a skateboarding game. The yeah. only Tony Hawk game I played was on the DS. <laughs> and I Yo, forgot what the hell you're doing downhill jam service. was that it yes it was downhill <laughs> jam let's go holy shit the Tony I Hawk forgot games, bro. it I was downhill jam so <laughs> I <laughs> have dude I have forgotten the title of that game and so I would oh my god I see the cartridge game. right now in my hand I see yeah. it I see I it just, wow I was go. just playing some of that on the Wii recently that, that one's a bad Tony Hawk game yeah, dude, I, I remember being obsessed with that game. And but mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I never grew up skateboarding. I wasn't, I wasn't into skateboarding at all. I don't even know why the hell I even got that game or yeah, who, no. who Bro, gave it to me. Get a skateboard. No, I'm skateboard. good. I don't skate. When I was a I'm kid, good. I was I was fat and uncoordinated. Like I was I'm, not gonna skateboard. I'm still oh, fat I'm and uncoordinated to be honest. <laughs> Same. So, I mean, it's not like not not as much change. But uh, what game I do want? Spider Man Two. We got some PS Five leaks. Of the game, Spider Man 2 PS5, you know what I'm saying? All the good stuff. Uh, but since, uh, you know, I scripted and made two, I feel, great videos about these leaks. You know what I'm I saying? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Literally the day after, I, I loaded both of them and it was b- do, dubbed as fake. The yeah. uh, original poster was like, hey guys, psych. And I'm like, you know, I really hate you. <laughs> but, uh, is, is, was that? Is that the leak that was like in the Zoom call or whatever? That was yeah. like. Okay. Yeah, with like the web of shadows switch. Dude, it looks it just seems so real. So, you know? like, it what happened? So good. Insomniac, you still got time to make that web of shadows combat. That's what I'm like, saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude. People be making really elaborate leaks recently. And it's impressive and I get mad at them. But it's I impressive. have to respect the art. Like, Why do we keep getting fake? Is it for oh yes yeah, for ad revenue and all that, right? I think it's we're just bored, honestly. I, I, I think that. some people are just having fun. Yeah, yeah like, I think I think people were just bored. But there was a lot of cool stuff in that Spider Man 2 leak. Uh I guess I'll ask you, Arachnite, as the uh, main you know, Spider Man fanboy here in the chat. Uh fanboy in a good way, not like a I was about to say is like please fan- don't call me. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> fanboy in the in the best way you can be. What was your favorite part of the leaks? Um like, but these like, are fake, was, though, right? Yes. Yeah, these yes. are the fake. Okay. They are these fake. Are the f- they are. How did well, they like, get confirmed fake? Who confirmed them? The original poster said, "Guys, psych." I'm just playing. He's like, "Yeah, please say psych." <laughs> um, <laughs> hate to see the, it. Like the Web of Shadows combat mm. seems like I if if you remember Web of Shadows, like that the combat in the game was seamless. It was seamless. You can go. Well, you can start out with a red suit combo, finish it with a black suit combo, and what is that supposed like, to mean? So. So uh, in Web of Shadows, when Symbiote you would do combat, like you would have like uh, the whole game was based on a morality system. Like if you chose heroic options, you were in the red and blue suit. If you were choosing more selfish evil options, you were in the symbiote black suit. Mm-hmm. So you could switch the suit that you were wearing because they had different combos allocated to them by pressing the left stick or a button on PC that I forgot. But you could right. switch them like with just a press of a button. So you could start out with just like a like you like a normal Spider-Man s combo and then finish it off with like a tentacle swarm from like the black suit and it was seamless like there was no switch there was no load screen you could throw a punch next punch uh, throw a punch red suit next punch was black suit and back and forth back and forth it was seamless so your, your suit would change yeah and your combos would change with it wait but like do you know the nature of like the symbiote taj like Yes, I know what it is. Okay, but yeah, yeah. The, that's the, what he the, means by black suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay. the Spider-Man PS4 symbiote is different from. They have the a comic. symbiote in Spider-Man PS4. No, yeah. it's just a black suit, right? It's not technically a symb. Yeah, it's symbiote. not. It's not symbiote. Let's. You talking about symbiote. the End Game? The, like, yeah, the no, but suit? yeah, but like if if it's attached to Harry and it's supposed to be healing him, then it's got to be symbiotic. Oh okay. oh, okay. You mean at that end cutscene? Then yes, that is of course a symbiote. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I let I thought but, you were calling like the black suit in Spider Man PS4, like the Doc Ock. Oh, the suit, anti like... the anti Ox. Yeah, that's not, no, that's not oh, okay. okay. That's what you're saying. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about uh, symbiote. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But like um Symbiote was like Venom when I uh-huh. yeah. 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 It is it, it was Venom before it was like bef- you know, before it got to Eddie yeah. Brock. Eddie Brock. But 
it's with with the comet on all that like I, they haven't tried anything like that in a long time for like web of shadows s combat like they've t- brought things back from web of shadows like the web strike which was my one of my favorite parts of web of shadows combat is back like i don't what? think y'all, did y'all ever notice okay the best opening to a spider-man movie the best web slinging was the maze spider-man 2 that's on god that, that first opening 20 minutes was fire on god i don't no know cap. if y'all actually went through but I've seen that scene so many, like, just watch on YouTube the opening because I love, like, I remember how hype I was in the theater. Oh, so it was, like, when I was, like, 14. The, the web slinging <laughs> of Spider-Man, every single move came from that opening section of Spider-Man, I mean, Spider-Man 2. Like, all the animations, you could see them all inside the opening scene of that movie. All, every single one of them. I swear to God. They, so, they've they taken, they've taken a lot of animations from the movies. Like, I know, like... Personally, I'm more of like an original trilogy, like Raimi guy. Like mm-hmm. I've seen those movies to death. Like I, I can see the similarities in some of his movements. Like, and how I'm saying, like, I'm talking about you know the you know the movie. Yeah, where, like the like, twist and like yes, how you, or, like, like, you know how you let go. He goes like this. He like does like yeah. like torpedo, bro. He got that, bro. Or like yeah, when he, he got like, that from Tasm too. Or like yeah. or he or he um he goes the around the building. It, yeah, that bro. Yeah. There's a ton of stuff that I saw from that movie. I was like, there's there's so much love for Spider Man all over Spider Man PS4. Like. Right. I was grinning ear to ear until my face hurt, like getting the collector's edition and bringing it home and installing it and all that. Like, I heard there's a lot of comic stuff too, even the very beginning of the game. Oh yeah, no, the, all the backpacks on Spider-Man PS4. Yeah. Wait, Todd, did we play Spider-Man PS4? I got the play. I don't know why. We're, t- we're also talking about how I never. The way saw you were PS4. talking about it, it seemed like you didn't. My bad. I don't know. Wait, what? Yeah, we talked about it a little earlier. Like, yeah, I remember when I said I was like, it was. I've never seen this Sinister Six. So I was like, I'm blown away. Like I. Yeah. Never, it's, it's been such a long podcast. Y'all, holy we're shit! I'm bro, we got it in this. I'm fucking losing. <laughs> it. I feel like I'm we're just talking right it. now. I'm losing <laughs> it, bro. I don't know. I don't know why I thought. Kev, you alright? Kev, this is just okay? a good conversation. Yeah, all good. I but, think I have, um, we're even recording this. Spider-Man PS4 on. is <laughs> such a good game, like, oh, especially like, for, for newcomers and for comic fans. Like, I love it. I would like, I be considered the newcomer? Uh, I would I would consider you like a newcomer as because like when when I consider newcomers like oh you just see the movie like everybody knows Spider-Man it's like you just see the movies you're very casual on how you like yeah, I'm casual. So and there's nothing He's wrong my favorite with that. hero, but I just never yeah. read a comic like. Like and the and there's also a lot of love for people like like me who are hardcore, hardcore fans of Spider Man like anything like tiny 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 little references you know, like, you know all things. the lore yeah like uh, Marvel Unlimited like I just felt like, like I, I was that person who found out that Spider Man didn't actually shoot webs organically I was like what? oh yeah man, yeah, yeah. Man, I was one of those man. people I was like what yeah. I, now when I, I see now when I see him shoot it organically he's like bro it looks it, it, it looks weird it just doesn't look <laughs> yeah, well, they, it looks like well, shit well they had yeah, it they, he, did that in the, <laughs> he did that in the comics run 2006 like in really? like I, I think it was like sensational yeah it was in a comic arc called The Other where his spider powers got enhanced and then he hmm. died. <laughs> He got he he got his eye eaten by, him, and then he came back in a hospital and beat more. I weird. yeah I definitely like him with the web. <laughs> I definitely I I don't like seeing a little fucking <laughs> slit in his wrist and shit like that. I think no, the web that, shooters no. are lit. I, I love the web shooters. shooters. Yeah, the, the web, web shooters, shooters are really farming. cool. It makes like, sense with like the it. bombs and all. It makes sense. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Get it organically. Like I don't think anything would make sense. Like the gadgets, the bombs, and the, yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Well, the black suit did it organically. Like it's just. Uh, they they showed a lot in Spectacular Spider-Man the TV series that the black suit has natural webbing that mimics the mechanical web shooters it, except it's just you don't need to refill them you don't need to worry about switching out the cartridges because that's been an issue in a lot of Spider-Man stories is just hey I'm at a web fluid what do I do now but if you just shoot it organically it's like you eliminate that problem which has its benefits and cons but that's a topic for a Spider-Man podcast they should definitely have a reload mechanic <laughs> in the next game Oh, Ooh, a real mechanic. A real mechanic. Maybe for harder difficulties. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be good. No, I'm be like, I mean, uh, I, no, I that think, on the Far From Home VR thing. I think there's definitely a way to do it. Like, you, you know, know uh, Gears of War, when you, like, tap in the perfect spot between... It reloads faster. Reload. Yeah, like, something like that, maybe. I don't know. No, they... In the Spider-Man Far From Home VR experience thing... Uh, when you oh. choose one of the higher difficulties uh, for web slinging, you actually have to reload your web shooters by shooting them off screen, like in an arcade. Oh, so, okay. doing something like not obviously not like that because this isn't 
VR experience, but that Spider-Man VR web series looks trash. So I ain't gonna lie. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fun. Like I bought my VR just to play that. Excuse me. Like Damn. because it's you're web slinging in like VR. Like it's the the physics are a little wonky. The game is pretty ugly, but it's just like I like. I I felt like a kid in a candy store playing that because it was like, free, right? Yeah, it, it's free. It's free for VR. Did they do a Homecoming one as well? Yeah, but they updated it to be Far From Home. Nice. It was oh, originally right. Homecoming, but then they updated it for yes, nice. But nice. it's like I think anybody who likes Spider Man as a kid, like their dream is was to what like web swing. So I think PS4 did that beautifully with the web swinging and all that. Yeah, I like, mean. For me, like the last like little bit I want to talk about on these leaks is that, uh, you know, they talked a lot about how like it's gonna be, uh, taking place like during like a winter season, so there's gonna be a lot of snow and different snow physics, physics like that in the game, as well as, uh, we get to see you know New York beyond Manhattan, and we're going to Queens oh, yeah, and stuff Queens, like that in Brooklyn, gross. which I need to see. I mean. I'm biased as hell. I'm from Queens. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, seeing, like, those like those low, like, residential houses, like, is very nostalgic to me. So, like, I just Ultimate Spider-Man did that. that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that's the one I played the most as a kid. Oddly yeah. enough, yeah. The one by Treyarch. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, know yeah. the associated one? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That game awesome. Awesome. I love that game. I love that game in my childhood. Yeah. So, um, uh, and that's the reason why my dad kind of bought for me. Was because like he was talking to the GameStop employee and they were talking about how like yeah like there's like a bunch of queens like in this game for Spider Man some of that bought me like for that reason but um, yeah Spider Man's from Queens there's yeah I know, exactly exactly from. yeah hundred percent yeah so I just can't wait to see like how they make that look you know on PS Five or whatever so I can't wait but you know those SSD loading times like did you guys watch that uh, video where it's like where the it's, like, wired a, one like it went, from a while ago yeah, yeah yeah the fast travel went from 15 seconds on base PS4 to 21. 0.8 seconds on yeah. PS5 hardware and we talked about it last week I think as well that was running on like a low speed dev kit for PS5 that wasn't even like on full gigahertz and full you know speeds yeah yeah it's gonna be nuts the it's PS5 specs are gonna be nuts it's gonna be dope it's not uh, gonna be like a super powerhouse, but it's still gonna be good. Ta wait, Taj, I think you mute yourself. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I wonder if the people from AMD <laughs> have got the uh, dual sense yet. Wait, what happened? I wonder if the people over at AMD have like gotten their hands on the dual sense. Oh no! Oh no! Hundred percent, they have. Hundred percent. I saw they, well, Pete Hines. Yeah, it, right. That's why. That's why they announced it when they did because they were sending out to dev kits and it, sorry, not dev kits. They were oh. sending it, sending it out to devs and they did, and they and they did, they, they, they were sending it out leak? to devs and they and they didn't want it to leak. I no. thought they did it because of the Xbox show happening thirty minutes later. That's what I like to think just, too. Just to be petty. Because that shit is hilarious. No, that's I think hilarious. It overshot, yeah, I, it overshot their show for sure. Bro, oh, nobody absolutely. knew what happened. I I didn't know, I what, happened know what happened yeah. until like place. later on the day I was like oh shit there was a, there was a there was an event today for, for Xbox damn what the, what they show it's like, it's like yeah I sleep sad <laughs> I sleep well what we don't sleep on of course and what the world has been sleeping on <laughs> is the sales figures of Final Fantasy VII remake I, I know we talked about the remake already you know around the show but we did get some really cool numbers so square enix reported that the game has moved 3.5 million copies in just three days after its launch on april 10th that figure includes physical shipments and digital sales so again like what Todd brought up earlier in the show that physical shipments so the the portion of the 3.5 million copies that are physical are simply are simply shipped numbers they're not explicitly sales they're, they're not sold through numbers. They are just shipped to different retailers. But nonetheless, you know, I think those are pretty great numbers, I'd say, personally. I, f I feel like anecdotally, though, like a lot of cases or reports are out there about the game being sold out in lots of places. Yeah. So I have to imagine they probably sold almost all of that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, like, yeah. I if, if you can get someone like, like like a month ago, we were talking about like, like I was talking to like my sister and like other people about Final Fantasy. It's like, wow, I sleep. It's like Final Fantasy seems whack, and now here I am, like uh, raving about it. It's like yeah, just I, imagine like other people. I've been a fan my around. whole life, but it's never been, never felt like Final Fantasy was such a big deal until like now. Yeah, like, I've always missed it personally in my life. Like, I think the last time it was huge was like 2000, and I was like three. Right. So Lightning, it's uh, cool. Like Thirteen was pretty big. Uh 
no, because it kind of sucked. Like, I bought that game day one. Yeah, no. And, uh, uh, like, no. I, I, that was, I hope that that was when that game came out. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm finally going to get in on Final Fantasy, like, right when it's happening. I'm going to get on this hype. And then, yeah, everyone stopped talking about it after, like, two weeks. Cause it was yeah, no. I, 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 I just remember, like, people were talking about, like, 13 for a little bit, and then it just, like, finished. Yeah, I, I got thirteen two for my sister because she was like super. Was that the one PS3 that came out next to God of War? Yeah, same year, same month actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think. And my sister's like, "Wow, this is amazing! Thanks!" And she's never played it. They're like, "Turn in two games, get this for like half off or something like that, or twenty bucks or something like whatever the deal was." Hmm. You turn in two select games, you get the game for twenty bucks. But it was like like the most like like you turn in Uncharted, like the latest Uncharted game those coming out that came out next to it like. Uh, you have to turn in literally brand new games to get it. That's dumb. Do they still do stuff like that? I don't GameStop. think so. I mean, yeah. GameStop will do anything to get your ass in the GameStop to buy something from them, to be honest. They would like, they would give you a kidney transplant or some shit like that. They're that desperate. Yeah. But that's just, you know, Last so. thing I bought from GameStop was uh, a shield, like a Captain America. I would love shield. to go to GameStop like, right now, but, you know. It's like they sent me like five emails like, what do you think about the shield? What do you think about How GameStop? How can I buy a physical game right now if I wanted to? Can I go to? Is there Walmart, I guess. I mean, you ship it from, from Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, Walmart. Uh, but shipping for her physical game isn't very... Uh, Honestly, yeah. the last time I went to a GameStop, it was to get my PS4 Pro because God of War was coming out that week. And I was like, I can't play God of War on the base PS4. What the hell am I doing? So I got I played on base Pro. PS4 originally. Oh, I word? just played on base. I yeah, bad. but then I got, I got the uh, PS4 Pro after. Yeah, yeah. It may. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Well, last time I went to GameStop, I bought a new copy of Bloodstained, and then they gave it to me, and it was already open. That's fucked up. You know what I need to do? I need to go to That's GameStop, shady. right? That's shady. I need it could have been a display. You could have had a display. Uh, yeah, I think I got one of those. I was just a bit bummed about it. It was just yeah. Yeah. But, nah, but I remember I, I need to just walk into I feel like because browsing games in a PlayStation store, it's probably better than walking into a GameStop and browse games like that. Just look at what's ever. The PlayStation store, store is uh, just so GameStop slow. is like crowded in like 300 Funko Pops and like 300 a couple t-shirts. t-shirts. Man, the man, fuck the PlayStation Funko store. Pops. The reason why I'd be had like I prefer physical I have so many more digitals just because the PlayStation Store's deals are so cool. Oh, yeah. Those deals are great. The last no, generation, they every sucked. Every week, every Tuesday. Yeah. PS Store's um, killing. Every time I pre-ordered from GameStop, they have screwed me over. Like, they, like I pre-ordered the collectors for Spider-Man PS4. And they're like, oh, yeah, it won't be here for three weeks after release. Jesus Why? Christ. And happen? it's like, it's like, are you kidding me? So How did that I, even I, 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 I don't know. They're like, oh, yeah, it's going to come up. Oh, you're not going to get it for a while. Sorry. And it's like, hey. Oh. That's not going to happen. Like, uh, I don't know about you. So I drove like an hour and a half to a GameStop that had one, and I bought it in person. And then I drove back, and I installed it, and I had a job interview the next morning, and I played Spider-Man PS4 until like 4 a.m. Hell yeah. Like, I had to sell the other collector's edition because it came three weeks later, and I couldn't you can't cancel, cancel your order? No. Wow. Why? And so I was like, yeah, that was like, yeah, this is the last time I pre ordered from GameStop. Why can't you cancel? I don't know. It's just like every time it just wouldn't let me. It's just like, oh, there's an error on the page. There's an error on the page. It's, it's like, probably because oh. you already ordered such like a big thing, and like it's it might be hard to push that unit to someone else unless somebody's just like desperate to get it. Yeah. So uh, I just I got it. I sold it. I I, I, I just sold it for before? the same price. So, I see. Uh, I yo, I just sold I, it for like ten bucks more than I got it for just to pay for shipping. Yo, I see we're losing time by the minute, bro. All right, Tom, oh, yeah, I promise like, this oh, is the last oh, topic. Oh, Listen, the last yeah. topic. I there was someone <laughs> there was someone that was playing God of War and beat it level one, no upgrades, beat the hardest boss in the game. That was lit. I watched a little bit of it today. It took him. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait. That's what he. He actually won four hours and 35 minutes into the video. Wow. So after multiple failed attempts, multiple failed attempts, uh, his his last time beating the final boss, like not the final boss, but like one of the, one of the hardest bosses in the game took Sigrun? 20 minutes. Uh, let me, yes. Sigrun. Sigrun. Yeah. Yeah. The that Valkyrie? One. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Valkyrie, and he did it yeah. with no upgrades, no nothing, level one, like Was it nothing. the Game Breaker God? Um, I forgot specifically. I haven't played it in a while. Those challenges but, are always really rough. I did that with The Witcher. But yeah, I mean, he did it with no upgrades. If you want, link below to check it out. I just thought it was really cool. I'm gonna and, have to uh, try that. And yeah, and also, I mean, shameless plug. You know, by the by the time you guys are watching this on Wednesday on the channel, I am starting the new stream series on PlayStation Source. We're going to the God of War series. 
every second of it will be streamed. Are you playing get through? Um, are you playing through? Uh, on PlayStation? I am. No? I am playing your PlayStation. I am. I am. So we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it goes. You know, uh, I played the entirety of Red Dead One on on PS Now, and I had a great experience with it overall. You know, I, I think I had a crash. Hey, it was like, the game breaker god. I knew it was him. Yeah, uh, I mean, with like PS Now, I only had Red Dead One crash on me once throughout my entire playthrough of that game. You know, so for I me, oh, it it held up comfortably. So we will see how God of War goes. But that is starting tonight. That we're going to watch the podcast the day it drops on Wednesday. Uh, starting the God of War Shame series is dope. I tried playing Infamous on PS Now, and it just was moving at like ten frames per second. Like it was so slow. I just. I don't know. I mean, at least with Red Dead, dude. Red Dead for me ran really. My smooth. boy took the shirt off. Yeah, dog. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, in the uh, in the in, in the clip where where, where took he the did. shirt off, bro. bro he was you wilding. Swear, for real. He was wilding. He was wilding. Yeah, you can't stream shirtless on uh, YouTube. So I I certainly won't. But uh, I'm doing an extreme. Let's get it. Bet. I got bet. No, I got nothing Hell to yeah. flex. Like be good. <laughs> I have a lot to roll, but not flex. Why doesn't <laughs> Twitch let us? <laughs> <laughs> why can't we? Sh- why can we stream shirtless on YouTube but not Twitch? I don't know. I don't know. Like people complain. Somebody oh, tell boy. me a question of the week. Final Fantasy. Uh, Girl, what was the best 2018 oh. PlayStation exclusive? 2018. 2018. Yeah. Oh, so God of War versus Spider-Man. Yeah, okay, Spider-Man. so it's so it's Spider-Man, God of War, and Detroit. Uh, for oh, me, right. It'll go God of War, Detroit, and Spider Man. And that, no, Kevin, I can't. No, can't ew, Kev, stop. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. God of War, Spider Man, Detroit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. God of War, Spider Man, Detroit. That's My it. bad. Wait, My wait, bad. wait, wait, wait. What if up? you had to keep one game from the last two years since 2018 and yeah. every other game is gone, which game would you keep? Final Fantasy VII Remake. <sighs> okay, so. Okay, so we got. From yeah. the beginning of 2018 till today, every game that's released oh, since then. I did really like Red Dead 2. Uh, if I had to keep one of I them. I liked would... Red Dead 2. I didn't love Red Dead 2, but I liked Red Dead 2 a lot. I liked it a lot. Um, I honestly liked Dead Stranding a lot as well. Just like, the, like the, the world that Kojima made. You know, I just l- was obsessed with that world for like a solid like month and a half, two months, you know. Like even to this it? day, even when it starts raining outside, I still think time fall first and then rain. Because I'm a I didn't game. like that game, but I'm more reminded of it every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you started out so strong it was like I didn't like that game. I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't dig it either. But I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I liked Mine would probably I also be fun. to finish all the way through because I was trying to write a review on it. Oh I'm word. To, I I hauled through the game. Like I played nonstop until I finished I, it. I think the last two hours of the game trying to end itself is fucking horrendous. Like, dude, end the fucking game. See, that's why I kind of killed it for end me. the I game. Think, maybe a bit longer than that. But, he, yeah. he was rolling credits on that bitch like an hour and a half before the actual end of the game. I'm like, bro, dude, don't show me credits until it's over. I mean, I think we talked about this a little bit, but still, like, chapter three of that game is, like, one of the most beautiful so gaming long. experiences I've had, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Building those bridges, putting in those minerals. I just, I just, I think mine would be Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Damn. Okay, but dude, I mean, but we lose Spider Man, lose God of War. I mean, dog, I'm, I'm, I'm loving Final Fantasy. Wait, 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 wait. What was the question? So, if, from the beginning of 2018 till now, what is one game you will keep and nothing else dropped? 2018 until 2018 now. on. So yeah. we have like God of War, Spider Man. We got Death Stranding. Just we got Detroit Become Human, AC RE2. Odyssey, RE2, RE3 Remake, God of War. Sekiro. Sekiro, yeah, exactly. I never played Sekiro. Give me God of War. Walking away with that. Um, I mean, uh, I just God of War is a great choice. I mean, hey, God of War is a great choice. I, mean, I, I can't like, even hate on that. God of War is a fantastic be, choice, though. honestly. Like, uh, mine's either going to be God of War or Fantasy VII. Did I need, anyone? You know, I knew what a game I need, bro. I need, like, a, a very good vibey, like, teenage, teenage Persona 5. Game. Persona 5. No. <laughs> Persona 5. Either. Life is Strange That's 1, what you just. Uh-huh. Ooh, Life is Strange 2. Have you played it? Two sucks. I'm sorry. Get the, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? What are you talking? What? Are you what? This is just the. This is the. What do you mean? It sucks. Sort of hot takes. Bro, this is like just it, hot takes. This is that is the biggest. Wait, wait. Have you played Life is Strange one? Yes. Life is Strange of course, we Life is one. It's phenomenal. And you think two holds up to that? I mean, I have personal thoughts too because is, oh, going up. He also two. I was like, oh my. I mean, look for me. Look for me. Okay, I think Life is Strange one from like. It represented you. Is what you're trying to say. 
to yeah, represent. Yeah, Labyrinth Crew had, had, I saw a lot of me, and my, literally me and my little brother in that. Now, you had some there wasn't any, huh? You had some representation going on. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, yeah, yeah. So, like, I was talking about for two, but, like, if we're talking, like, um, what I feel like One the average way, person man, would like, like the music, I think. The vibe, like, the. The, 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 yeah the, no yeah the so crazy like drama yeah. the story like the girl like it just made me feel good about myself until mm -hmm. obviously the dark until things everybody come die <laughs> yeah, live is strange one in. for me was like a great like season of like tv you know of, like oh like, this is like an entertaining like season of like a story you know you know what i'm saying like, 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 I don't know, like yeah yeah no 100 like, percent. yeah i agree that yeah i agree that like when you when you mentioned like uh like a like a teenage vibe thing. All I thought about was Thug again. <laughs> uh, but I'm talking about like a like a girly girl like type of vibe. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> the life is Persona Five. Dude, P Five is so good. P Five is so JRPG. good. I'm trying to play like a Life is Strange story like uh, type thing, like a Netflix uh, series. Uh, Jet Set Radio. We need another Life is Strange one. Did you play that? Uh, was that? Did you play Before prequel? the Storm? Before yeah. the storm, yeah. Before the storm was fire. I like that too. That was Maybe really good. Vibe too. Yeah. I don't know what good. they were doing. It, it was good, but it just come on. Not as good. No. They just went to some serious avenues. I feel like. I mean, they all go to serious avenues, but like more so in two. Yeah, definitely. Teenage vibe game. Dude, I don't know. Two story. It was just wasn't as in like two twenty sixteen. The episodes were so slow until like the last 10, 15 minutes. It picks up and it's over. There's only like, exciting moments of two a lot. That like first episode of. Season two was pretty crazy. I thought like it right. seemed pretty. Yeah, bold. it definitely it's starts so out really. Good. Yeah, that's its thesis. Yeah. It's yeah. gotta be. So, okay. So See, that's that's the only episode of that game I played. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to get yeah, back yeah, to yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I feel like overall I liked it a lot. Um, but I feel like Tosh has a point where like definitely like episode two, episode three, like there's definitely some molasses parts in that where it's like, can we can we go somewhere? Like I I Bro, if you I get it. Go to my yeah. live stream, I was falling asleep playing that game. I kid you, I was. Like, bro. Yeah. That was I back when I first started using Wait, here's another quick question. It's like, if you had to keep one Naughty Dog game, what would it be? Oh, fuck. Far Last of Us. What the fuck? The, mm, really? If I had to choose one, bro. I mean, I like, one say. singular game one that stands by Naughty itself. That, I, think, like, I think I tried to change my life. Look, look, the, look, look. Look, give hold, me hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Uncharted 2 single player. Hold on. Uncharted 2 so, is multiplayer is better than Uncharted 3. No, Uncharted 4 is multiplayer is fire. I love Grab. I like Uncharted 1 better, too. Uncharted 4's multiplayer is trash. I mean, Uncharted 2's. I played it when it first tank episode. I played Uncharted 4's multiplayer when it first launched. So, like, there was no incentive to play at the time. There was no level up. There was no, like, it just wasn't much reward for playing. Dude, I, I played that. I played it I played it to death at launch. Like, summer 2016 hit different. And I didn't it's even go outside. Different. I just I just played Uncharted all day. 20, bro, I, I missed Uncharted 3 days. Now, Uncharted 3. I played Uncharted 3, like, multiplayer, like, it was Call of Duty, bro. Trying to legacy up. Terminate tickets. The 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 uh what else? Was Make there a plunder in Uncharted Three? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Also, uh, the, the, the claw, playing all the co-op missions on Crushing, they get the star badge on your logo or your name. If you beat all the all the co-op missions on Crushing, that was like so hard. I Crushing. This is a question I saw on Twitter uh, right before we started recording. If you had to you Damn, choose I had a game like world questions, this episode shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of all of them are just firing questions. Questions. Let's go. I, where did all these questions come? Like, before, like, I even know. Recording? Actually, if I had to choose one night dog game, just give me Last of Us Two right now. Leave everything else. You know, I mean, damn. I mean, like right now, like that's out just to like see my peeps, whatever. Last of Us, I feel like has the best, like just story that if we didn't get a part two, of it, week, yeah. yeah. I mean, like if if like we never got a part two, if it, like like part two like never existed, you know, Last of Us can stand by itself as I one cohesive have story. Charlie like, 4, 4's gameplay is so fun. But you need one, two, and three. What like I'm like I'm gonna think about it a little different. Like like I'm thinking like what is like oh, the you just best snap like them out of existence. The best like yeah, and like nothing existed. Yeah, I mean like the best like standalone. You know what I'm saying? Which I then then I guess like defeats the purpose because like what the fuck happens to Uncharted two and three and four at that point? I think because... Uncharted two is standalone. I, I mean, if you want to have this, if you want to say that, then we have to like. We can't talk about any of the Uncharted games other than the first one, then basically, right? Fair point. Uncharted, fair no, point. Uncharted three story, I think, holds up on like if you just remove every other game, because it has Nate as a kid. You have Nate and Sully. You see damn, wait, way. he has a strong fucking point. You do Uncharted three stands alone. Yeah, you don't need that's... kid. Drake, I think Drake, Lost Drake's Legacy Drake's also stands on its own. See, I think Uncharted Lost is, Lost is, Legacy stands on its own too. Is Uncharted Uncharted three, like I think, would hold it. Like you don't need kid Drake. 
every other game from the timeline, and it's just yeah, this is that's Nathan that's Drake's only story. That's because Uncharted like, Three focuses on his past more than yeah, anything. and it shows like it shows Nate's like like he has oh he has a wife that he divorced somehow and they separated or whatever. you see him become selfish, you see character progression, redemption, and that's the end of his arc. You don't need to explicitly see that stuff though. Like Uncharted Two could have just came out and all that backstory is just implied, right? Yo, I think it. all the Uncharted stand by themselves. Yeah, they totally do. Fuck. Not well. Four, awesome. like four, is pretty hard because it's like, oh, why is Elena always so pissed at Nate? Why? Four yeah, the, I mean, four, stuff. four just has like cool nostalgia if you play the other games. But like, I think you can play Uncharted Four by itself and but get the it, gist it, of it. But but the story hangs on to one, two, and three because it's about him. He's coming back into this game. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. But like, I mean, I, like, I, but I mean, they throw in fucking Sam there, and Sam was never mentioned at all. You know, once I'm saying so, see, like, that's yeah. another point of it. Yeah. Like, it could probably stand on its own. I feel For like the most if part. 4 was your only Uncharted of the game, you might enjoy it more that you didn't know about Sam before it. Yeah. Like, because honestly, when I play that game, I still feel kind of weird about Sam's inclusion, honestly. A it's little like, bit same. Odd. A little bit yeah. same. A little, it, it just doesn't feel right. Especially playing I, 1, 2, and 3. And like, how do you not mention the brother? Not not, not even the amount of times yeah. like you and Sully being by yourselves and like Sully was aware of fucking Sam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, really? Right. You're not gonna talk at all. So, at all. I'll say. At all. I don't know if it's a hot know? take, but like, I tried to force great. I don't think but... Sully knew about Sully. I don't think Sully. No, knew about he Sully. did. He did he because did. remember, did. like, when they yeah, first, like, when I chose the uh, break in in Italy mm-hmm. for the uh, for the cross is like, oh, I hate working. With this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. know. He did. He did. He did. Oh, yeah. He I mean, did. Yeah, he did know about Sam. Yeah. How much though would Sully like mention your dead brother to Nate though in the previous games if? It's like, like wow, this reminds me of your dead brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, so I, his I most know. memorable line was in the game that he was shown in the less, the least. I tried it too. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Felt like a hooker. Bringing a church. hooker to church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Felt like a hooker to church. Well, like a hooker in church. I think that's gonna wrap up our longest episode of Star Podcast, guys. Yo, it was a Sorry great one. I like to. <laughs> uh, about Spider Man. I like to especially, you know, thank of course Robot Rock as well as, uh, you know, Arachnite. For literally be literally be messaging you an hour and a half before we started recording, uh, so Anytime. big ups to y'all. Oh yeah, much love. Thanks for having me. Arachnite, where can people find you? You can find me on the uh, PlayStation Source Discord, where I spew hot takes about Ubisoft and uh, games that Ubisoft, I, Ubisoft, respect. Ubisoft. Like I, respect. I, I can't, I can't. There we go. Toss I can't pronounce it if I'm asleep. Go, bitch. Hell yeah. I sleep. It doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I'm gonna say is it's been your boy Tajay. It's been a great <laughs> conversation. Check your boy out on YouTube. Uh Tajay on YouTube. I do a lot of last is part two type content. I'm also working on a very big video, very well scripted video that I'm about to work on as soon as we Ooh. leave here, called Naughty Dogs Marketing and In Depth Analysis. You wanna watch that, check that out. Follow your boy on Twitter at Tajay Moment and uh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. As well as the big homie, Robot Rock. How you doing, my boy? Where can hey. they find you? Uh, you can find me in a. Can I give you a YouTube link to put in the description? Would that be okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right, you can find me there. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So was the, okay. The, <laughs> the, the, the link, link is there. The yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah go on, you Do you don't say your channel name. You don't say what's up, bro. What's yeah, it's this is my name. It's you, my name. Oh wait, talking. like your real name? Yeah, it's my like real your, name. Like your like government name? Okay, I mean, yeah, I my I can see that issued name for my parents. Yeah, that. my real name is Tajay Moment on Twitter. Tajay Moment here. Tajay on YouTube. You I know. I can't believe my your name last is a rack name. Moment. That's that. that that's such a, that's a cool last name, name bro. Appreciate last name being it. Moment. That's such a sick name, bro. My oh, wait, mind blowing. Wait, no cap. <laughs> yeah, my name. My last name is Moment. Like, wait a moment. Yeah, that's yeah. dope as hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick. Such a good name. Such, such a good name. It's weird that my YouTube channel's name is Tajay, and it's actually like, I think it's cool. I, I like. I like just Tajay. Tajay. Like, it's just cool. Like, oh, yeah. You know, know. It's good. It's good. It's good. It definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I, well, I suck with coming up with names. So, thank God my parents are good at naming me, right? Yeah, mine they just named me after fucking kid from home alone, dead ass. But you can uh, <laughs> find, you can keep it locked here, of course. <laughs> YouTube.com. That's place in source. Uh, you know, if you're listening on YouTube, you can, of course, down below, go to our anchor link, listen to our long form content and podcast format. That, of course, being. Uh, this podcast, Save Slot Podcast, as well as Road to Part 2 as well with my boy Iraq Knight on there as well. And at some point, Taj, we, we got to get you on Road to Part 2. At some point, right, oh, you yeah, are definitely going to be that. on that shit. Um, but yeah, down below, you can find the links down below there, as well as, of course, our Discord server, uh, which Robot Rock is a uh, you know frequent poster on, as well as, of course, Iraq Knight there as well. 
uh, down there, as well as my, tw- as well as the Twitter, at PS Source Vids. You know what I'm saying? Or, or my personal one at the K Days One Two Three. Follow me on there. Uh, and yeah, like the podcast if you enjoyed it. As well, stay subscribed to Plays and Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. And we'll be back next week, I think, with the uh, with the w- 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 with the usual cast. You know what I'm saying? But we will see what happens next week. So, uh, oh, and then t- okay. Robot Rock and Rec <laughs> Night. Okay, so when when I say uh, thank God for watching, and as always, we're all gonna say greatness awaits. After I was podcast. wondering if we're gonna, gonna yeah. do that. I, I forgot. Yeah. That. I always forget <laughs> to say it. All right, so here Sorry. we go. Ready? Three, two, yeah. one. Thank God for watching, and as always, great greatness awaits. Awaits. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, later, guys. Later. later. Have a-